didn't even say go boys. I just said yeah. I just said clap to this. You're in the club. You're just in the corner. Yeah, no. what kind of dope? That's saucy Santana. You see what yeah, they were trying. You see what they were trying to do. Anthony Edwards, who Ja took a okay. step back, and now everyone's Anthony Edwards is the face. Nah, Ja, mm -hmm. not Anthony Edwards, who first of all, not too much. On when Ant. Ja is back, Anthony Edwards, who? No, that's not how it works. And just no one hated on Ja Morant. Y'all, y'all, all y'all Ja haters, we remember. Yeah. Huh? Ja He's making this up in his head. You're and I took that personally. <laughs> <He's making> <laughs> it, <laughs> it, it has to be the y'all that's not in this room. <laughs> They like they yeah. didn't want Ja. They, they, the okay. they in the room with us. Yeah. They in the room. They are the reason why Ja wasn't on all uh, any of the all NBA teams mm -hmm. and was killing everybody. Yeah. Who I cares mean, if he might own a pistol or two? You know, yeah. He lives in Memphis. Who doesn't own exactly. a pistol or two? I mean, I heard they were that. hating on Ja while Ant was hating on they them. Oh, yeah. that's crazy. That's wow. a deception. Yeah. He was. I heard it was Universal I, that was trying to take down Ja Morant. So. Uh, it's a deeper, darker, darker. And Edward said some controversial statements, but anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Are you done your ether no, rant? I think, I oh think, my god! I think um, Universal <laughs> might like Jaw because Jaw and Drake don't like each other. So, okay. Oh, shout out Let's, to the Hooper Abby. What is he saying? Busting, busting out, out the, the Grizzy. The Gizzy? Grizzy. Gritty. 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 Gizzy. <laughs> Gizzy. Gritty. Grizzy. <laughs> the Gizzard. Okay. Anyways, now that you're done your ether rant, um, everyone, welcome to episode 45. Of the Relentless Diaries podcast. I'm your main host, Zoe. I'm Trezor. I'm Clyde. Mucho. And uh, why am I blanking? Who's 45? Oh, we're oh on our, we, we are on our Sean Bradley today. No, uh, someone else. No, yeah, please. No, please, the worst, something, yeah, something the better. The worst player of all time. No, there was someone like notable <laughs> that was 45. The most dunked on seven footer of all time, Sean Bradley. <laughs> You're I'll, not an I'll athlete, you Sean Bradley. <laughs> oh, jeez. Who said that, Lil Wayne? No, Jay-Z. Jay Jay-Z said oh. that about Joe, about Budden Joe Budden on his own song. Oh, jeez. Michael Jordan on the Bulls. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. 45. Okay, yeah, let's keep that. Let, yeah, that's let's better. That the, 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 one, the new MJ. The yeah. one that got knocked out by the Magic. Wait, Michael Jordan on the Bulls was 45? When he came back, he when was he 45. When he came back after retirement. After retirement. Yeah, yeah. Not after the, after the gamble. But he was on the Bulls. Mm -hmm. You know when he like fake retired to play baseball? No, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, right yeah. after that. Remember when he came yeah. back in 45? Oh, yes. But then after he retired, he came back on the Wizards, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What yes, was his yeah. number then? 23. 23. Still the oh, same. still 23. He went back oh, to 23. Okay. Yeah. 45 was cursed for him after he got slapped by the magic. Oh, jeez. Shaq. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, welcome to our Michael Jordan 2.0 episode. Mm. Um, fair warning, guys. This is going to be a very, very heavy Drake I feel like you music know what you're industry. coming into. Yeah. And Kendrick. Epic. And Drake right? and Kendrick yeah. and music industry. Uh, Thanks segment. for the reminder, Mucho. <laughs> right? uh, but before we get into the nitty gritty and all of our conspiracy theories and proof and all the above, how was everybody's weeks? Uh my week was good. I uh, had a, like a funny little interaction. I was running errands the other day, mm. which popped out of the store. And um, this happens, I'm sure, as it happens to you guys. Like I was walking and somebody, hey, hey, Re Relentless. You, you do the Relentless show, right? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, it was good. It was good. You know, like just saying what it was kind of from afar. Like I didn't dap him or anything. And he goes, yo, y'all do your thing. You know, I appreciate you and everything. Um, just uh, just tell Zoe to unblock me. And I... <laughs> <laughs> Tell Zoe to block me. Yeah, that's what he said. And I was in a rush, so I couldn't have, I didn't have time yeah. to figure out him and yeah. what he did to get blocked or anything. But yeah, Zoe, you need to unblock, bro. Because he's a supporter. <laughs> yeah. It's like a couple niggas that think that uh like you hate them. Yeah. There's a couple guys who think I hate them? Yeah. yeah Ooh. Sure. I'm not gonna say names, but it's like just like random, like, yo, why does Zoe hate me? Uh <laughs> That's starting I get to that become a trend. Regular. Yeah, that's becoming what? a thing. But like, not even not in real life. I'm like, just online people type shit. Like, yeah. Yo, does Zoe have a problem? Did really? Did I, yeah. Has, has Zoe yeah, said yeah. something about me that you? <laughs> <laughs> hate is a strong word. I don't really, actually. I don't hate anybody. Right. I strongly dislike people. People who've done stuff to me. Mm -hmm. So if I don't have any relationship with you, we don't have any history. I definitely don't hate you or dislike you. But there, there I, you go, guys. I did say this, and you didn't immediately know who I was talking about in my in in, in your head. I feel like I have an idea, but I'm not going to say it on air because it's sticky. Uh, um, if it is who I'm thinking about. Okay. 
Toss Lane to Block Me is hilarious. I did. I thought it was funny. I was <laughs> like, That's I'm crazy. not even. I, I need to. That yeah, was one thing my about me, I'm going to exercise my block button. Bye. Move. <laughs> Anyways, what about, about y'all? I, um,. I did an X-ray on my foot oh, this week. Adulting. Uh, I got it. No, I uh, hurt myself playing basketball. Adulting. Uh, oh, that's why you never hoop. Like every time I ask, like you try to hoop, it's always. I can't. You hurt yourself hoop. when you play. That's prime then, adulting. I got pressured into playing ball at the gym. Didn't have the proper shoes, and it went bad. Then why ends? Um, I you. bro, my foot is mashed up, like super mashed up. Uh, I did an X-ray. I didn't. Uh, break anything i still have to do an ultrasound to see if i tore anything but i think i'm okay and then i told my i told my um my trainer i'm like yo um, i'm not gonna be in for a couple weeks you know just gotta give my foot a rest started playing ball and he said and i quote when will mans learn to let ball go <laughs> oh geez. so i guess this is a repeated occurrence of people getting hurt playing basketball but uh <laughs> See, and I'm not I'm not gonna lie, he has a point. I think the moment that people stop playing basketball is when you get a specific type of injury, and then after that, you're like, you know what, I'm not playing anymore. That's what happened with Hassan. Um Hassan Phils, the comedian. Tore his Achilles. He yeah. tore his Achilles and he's like, Yeah, I'm never playing a game of basketball ever again. <laughs> really? And I get it. Yeah, he said he's I'm never gone. hopping I'm on gonna, a run ever again in his life. I'm going to keep it real with y'all right now. My legs might be ashy because I got pants on. But, oh. yeah. Wait, why I, is your I, leg I, ashy oh because goodness. you have pants on? Sometimes, sometimes, you know, you like... You don't, you don't go the whole way. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, I got pants on. Okay. But I tore my ACL right here. Ooh. And Jesus. ACL, meniscus, MCL, all at the same when? time. When? How? You Damn. can't even dunk. <laughs> Yo. Oh, I can do that. But like a soccer ball. I can dunk with a soccer ball. So how did that happen? Hooping. Oops. But like, what was the movement that tore? It? Well, a lot of ACL tears are non-contact, oh. so it was just literally me just going up just for a layup. Uh, okay. Oh well, didn't Grant Williams just tear his ACL? That yeah. was crazy. Yeah, he did. That he was did. that's like the least explosive athlete ever. Oh, and he tore his ACL. He, so yeah, it doesn't look possible. like he'd be tearing his too much weight on his knee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I tore my shit. I still hoop every week. Mm. I don't care. I'll tear, more, I'll tear it again. I'll still play. But you're more careful on that knee, though. Like, you're careful, like, what movements you're taking. You nope. want to have... Really? Like, so I'll tear it like, again. I'll still play. What's wrong with you, dog? No, I, like, I, I love hooping. And what the Norris tr trainer is saying is, like, I, if I was him in that same situation, I would have looked him in the eye and be like, I'm never letting it go. Like, you know what I mean? Niggas never letting like, it go. It's two different types of nigga. Like, See, but the is. fact that you want to have, like, professional athlete bones... Without being a professional athlete, <laughs> I don't know if the risk is worth the it reward. Is training, <laughs> not being able to walk properly when you're 45, just to like casually hoop just once casually a week, hoop. just to be able to dunk in your 30s. It's isn't the only, worth it. it's the only cardio I enjoy. I think a lot of men could relate to that. Mm. Like the only time you I don't enjoy like to run. No, you're not from that part of Africa. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you know what? I can say that. I'm yeah, half. Africa. Yeah, not not really. Britons are decent. Oh, and by the way, speaking of that, um. I saw this story how a few teams in the NCAA, I can't remember what teams, they like recruited a bunch of Kenyans mm -hmm. to to run mm -hmm. in their school and they just had a national meet and they all got slapped. Oh. So the return on their investment isn't going too good. Shoot. Wow. So yeah. they recorded like straight from Kenya, like Kenyans to... <laughs> yeah, like, oh my God. Like, if you see those guys... Yo, shout out to my Kenyans that just finessed a student visa. Yo. If you shout see those guys, them. they are fresh <laughs> off the plane. And they just got slapped? They got slapped. I think Jeez. one of them placed... I think one of them came maybe second or third in the meet, and the rest of them didn't yeah. place in any of their Shoot. events. They're probably talking high shit. They couldn't even back it up. Oh Shout out to God. you. Though. Yeah. Because they probably weren't even training or nothing. It's like the dude came into town. You're kind of like relaxing. Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah. No, no. I'm in shape. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> University of Florida. Yeah. I'll pack my bags right now. You're skinny and though. East like, African. I bet you're good. Nah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he was just God. like a regular yeah. guy. He didn't even run for real. <laughs> they tried to say... I think they tried to say, um, they didn't say it, but like someone from the organization tried to say that because of the weather conditions that they weren't adjusted to it yet. Because I think the meat was in like Oregon or something uh, and it, it was wasn't like warm. Rainy. So they weren't really, <laughs> they can't run in the cold, I guess. Uh, they just, they're just not trying to get deported, y'all. Shout out to them. Man. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Mucho, how about your week? How was it? Oh, it was good. Yeah. I had love at the function on Saturday. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that was, was a good one. Yeah, it was I liked good. it. I enjoyed Thank that you. one. It was good. Yeah, so we put a lot of work into it. It was dope. Three. 
crowd. It was nice, man. And they finally found love this time. You know I mean? Has so, the other two times no one found love? Yeah, no. Nah. Oh, geez. <laughs> I think, yeah, you're right now that I remember. Yeah, That's yeah, That's good, yeah. though. Yeah. I was rooting for the guy who won, though. UK you. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I wasn't rooting for him, but, like, I was getting some booze when I was choosing who to... <laughs> <laughs> who to actually like <laughs> calibrate who won? Because just put yourself in my shoes, right? Like, you know how like voting systems go when like you vote people off? It's like, yo, crowd, make some noise, bam, bam. And by the time I got to like the last three, the last two, the last one, every time I took one person off, I get boo. Oh my God. Like, did I count that right? <laughs> <laughs> you stood on visit though. You're like, all right, brother, nice to meet you. Thank you. Exit the yeah. stage. <laughs> You're like, boo, bitch. Like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Moving like Steve Harvey at Miss Universe. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, my God. oh that's a that's a wow, that's a niche one. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, you know, he said he had to um up his security at his house after that. Really? Cause you you remember do you remember who he took the crown from? No, who, I don't remember exactly what happened. Miss Columbia. What? And they weren't happy about oh, that. The Colombians were <laughs> oh, he had to up the security yeah. at his house for 24, <laughs> 24 hour security. Oh dear. The God. Medellin goons, they pulled up. Yeah, man. Yeah, but it was yeah, that was Saturday. And then Sunday, like I, I linked up with Smiley, like on a random tip. Why now, are there snow trucks outside? It's, those are not snow trucks. Aren't those snow? There's like six no, of them. I don't know those are snow trucks. Yeah, the salt trucks oh. for snow. I don't know, Why is there seven? Are we recording? Eight, I can't even. Not we are. Maybe they're but, going somewhere. Sorry, y'all. We got distracted. <laughs> yeah, are we rolling? Smiley, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I linked up with Smiley uh, with Vivant. Shout out to them. That's a clothing collective, and hopefully we get Smiley on the show soon. Yeah, yeah. hopefully that'll be good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, are we good? Yeah, I don't know what happened with my mic. It turned off for a second, but it's on now. Okay. Um, um, sorry yeah, about that, okay. my week was. Good. I did a student, uh, I did a talk at Toronto Metropolitan University for their black, yeah. I know, hey. and I kept calling it by their previous name. Ryerson? Yeah. Oh, on stage? Yeah. Because <laughs> oh, I was, you I was like, I'm like Ryerson. I was like, oh, sorry. I was like, TMU. If yeah. your mama named you Ryerson, I'm going to call you Ryerson. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, I feel so like black people should be allowed to call it Ryerson yeah. like, by mistake. I'm screaming. We, uh, we call everything the old name. I still yeah. call it. Staples Center. I still call it Air Canada Center. Center. Yeah. Well, I, I said black people because like Ryerson was like a slave owner or something, right? Something was like it? that. Yeah. He, he um, was like, it was a residential school owner. Residential school. Oh my bad. We can't say that. Yeah. Is that why they changed? Is that why they changed? No, no, that. no. That, that is why. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. remember the protest. My fault. Yeah. I'll, I'll stop saying so, it. Shout out to TMU. Go ahead. That's yeah. Fair. So I did a a panel at TMU for the Black Business Association. It was cute. You know what I'm saying? I talked about the pod. Shout out to them for. Apparently, they asked you guys to come and you guys said no. I told them I couldn't because I was going to have to prep for Love right. and Function. I didn't even know about this, so it, oh. didn't, it didn't even get to me. And, oh. and me being the only TMU alumni, they definitely <laughs> didn't talk to me. I, yeah. I don't think I, I, I would have remembered that. Yeah. Oh. I don't think I got that one. They were like, yeah, you're such a sorry, mucho. But they all said no. And I'm like, they all said no? I, what? I 100% would have if I wasn't busy. And oh, that, okay. that's cat. I still owe them bread, bro. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. They, probably, they probably DM'd me. And I just didn't see it. Oh, okay. I okay, definitely okay. didn't say no. I would have said yes. Oh, okay. Well, it was cool. Yeah, it was me and a few other creatives that were there who spoke on the panel. Um, really good organization. Network with a lot of students. There's a lot of good potential in you know kids, not kids, young adults who want to do really great things. So, you know, I love to do community stuff and give back. And it was a fun. Mucho said I looked like I was. What'd you say? A, <laughs> you had a middle manager fit. I, like I, had, I was a middle manager in my fit. <laughs> First of all, they said business casual. Yeah. <laughs> so I came in a very classic yeah. business casual outfit, mucho. Yeah, no, you just look like somebody's boss. That's <laughs> Did she have the bob? Yeah, well, no, or she had the same my hair. Same that I had the same hair on, oh. but you know the what I mean? The same hair on my hair. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> my fault, but you know, that's like, it's like a press or something. You got something going on. Silk, Silk press? press? Yeah. Mm. Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Press. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, it was good. And then I got in my influencer bag. I felt like Tresor. Mm. I did some content. Oh, for, I saw that. Yeah. Did she some put con- on her influencer voice. Come Do you with think? Me. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Come <laughs> with me to new, new lemon. <laughs> First of all, 
You did your influencer. Voice. I don't know if my influencer voice. She went a couple not, octaves higher. I don't think so. No, don't it's know. not as lively as like obviously me here, but I yeah. feel like it was the same octave that I talked in. Like I wasn't like you were. You were very this. more. You were more soft spoken than. Oh, your for sure. I didn't, like yeah. you know, I'm not gonna be like, yeah, y'all, I'm going to do that. Like you know what I'm saying? But you could. everyone said that my um, my voice switched. was very. I don't think I cold switched. I, think like, I tried to keep it more calm. Okay. Um, it sounded good. But everyone said hated. that I had a really good voiceover voice. So I'm like, oh, that's it was, it was nice and calming and soothing. Yeah. But um, shout out to Lululemon for all the... I Honestly, I've never worn Lululemon before in my life. Wasn't a Lululemon... I wasn't, swear to God. I know. Yeah, I wasn't a Lululemon like... I don't know, it just never you really appealed TNA to me. I was about to say. Yeah, in Munich, or not university, in like middle school, I was TNA, yeah. Ritzia, and then for like working out, it was always like Nike, Adidas, maybe yeah. Puma, and I really wore Lululemon. So it was interesting to actually go in there and like all their stuff is great. Like yeah. I'm not just saying this because like I did content for them, like that was really good quality stuff. And now I know why the girls love Lululemon. Lululemon got guy stuff too. So they do. if y'all want to put me on. You know on, what? You know what? Let if y'all want to put me on, just... Well, it's, they're not taking clothes away from you to give some to me. You just put me on too. No, so, enough for everybody. So. Hey. Tresor has everything: pizza, hey. pizza, Raptors, so Aces. Let me Asics. get some Lululemon. Is that now you want what he I really have? Does. Let me have something. He gets like equipment sponsorships. Yeah, and computers you want to come here? You want like Lululemon? Like yeah. What, what, what Let does, me have my Lululemon. What does male Lululemon mean? It's like tights. Like what do you? No, no. you're not wearing. They tights. have like 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 hoodies, <laughs> like joggers, like dry fit shirts, dry fit shirts, shorts. puffers. Yeah, like toques. Like their their men's stuff is pretty nice. Okay, I'm not wearing boxy <laughs> You're not wearing what? It's not unisex clothing. I'm not wearing boxy. Uh, I was, I was throwing him in like the TNA bucket. I didn't know. No, no, no. no. Okay, it's okay. like, like regular. There's like pro athletes sponsored yeah. by Lululemon. Okay, like true, guys. True. But yeah, people sleep on Lululemon. I mean, maybe just me sleep on Lululemon. I heard a lot of women really, say like practically speaking, it's really good for athletics and stuff. Athletics yeah. is good for lounge. It's good for just like running errands, airport, Pilates. It's really good for a lot. Yeah. So let, let, let them give us a bag before we keep going. Oh yeah. <laughs> Word. I know, right? I think not too no. much now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lululemon, you could insert your ad here. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, okay, cool. Um, before we move on to pop culture hot topics, we have a new segment that we want to do because when we post clips, I don't know if you guys look at the comments, but sometimes the comments are like absolutely outrageous. Yeah. So we're like, yo, we should do like comments of the week. Oh, that's fine. And do what we did. Oh, that's a good idea. Some of the, you don't like the wine? <laughs> Some of the comments that have been hilarious that I noted were, were last week's episode, we posted the hear me out clip and in the comment or in the caption, we asked, okay, what are some of y'all's hear me out? Somebody said Hillary Clinton, which I think, wow. is, <laughs> which I think is like a little insane. I'm not going to lie. Wow. Hillary Clinton is a crazy hear me out. That's even yeah. for me. That's crazy. Yeah, people were also commenting on how quickly you said share, like you had that prepared in your head. Oh, yeah, I do. So, yeah, Hillary Clinton was crazy. Someone said, tell Queen Latifah I need that. Yo, <laughs> you know what? You know what? I disagree, but like for some reason she was like the number one romantic comedy black lead yeah. at Seriously? one point. Yeah, Queen they, Latifah was in Bear Rom. She was in every movie. What's the one yeah. with Common when he was a basketball player on the Nets? Yeah, yeah, I, oh I can't call just it. Right. Just really? right. Yeah, just right. Yeah, there was another. Like, yeah, there was does a couple. Hollywood think Queen Latifah's bad? Like I don't, I didn't even get it. I so. feel like some people do. A so lot of people was, agree with you, brother. So there you go. Someone else says Shaka Khan, no cap. Shaka. Yeah, <laughs> Shaka Khan's a baddie though. Facts. Shaka Khan's a, someone called us swirlers because all of our answers were white. But first of all, none of us swirl except for Mucho. Whoa. And maybe Clyde. Whoa, and whoa, maybe, whoa. Maybe, maybe swirl. 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 swirl for me is past tense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Swirl. But none of us, as, as I said, none of us have swirled except for everyone except me. You shouldn't they be able to put that on me though. Like that's how yeah. I got here. Like that's like, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh yeah. You're a product of swirling. You're a product of swirling. Swirling product. Sorry. Product of swirling. He's a swirl success story. A swirl success story. Thank you, Mucho. Yeah. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Story probably, yeah, but maybe you're right. But honestly, I feel like all of our answers were white because That's our type not is common. not typically yeah. white. Yeah. So a hear me out is someone who's not your type that's yeah. not conventional. Do they not Ucho. understand the concept? No. People <laughs> yeah, are, you're like, duh. People are... 
Yeah. We know this already. Um, but and then someone said we all love us some Fitzgerald Grant the third, which is like the full name of like Fitz from Scandal. Like, why do you oh, know the full yes. man's full Fitzgerald w? Fitzgerald Grant. <laughs> you and but Kerry Washington. Those were some things that were funny. Oh, someone said Bobby Brown. <laughs> Bobby what, Brown. At what age? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Bobby, Bobby Brown, Brown. Brown is crazy. That's funny, man. That's yeah, Bobby Brown is insane. That's but those. Funny. Oh, and someone said Whoopi Goldberg, and then someone commented, whoever said Whoopi Goldberg needs a beating. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'll let Queen, Queen Latifah slide. I'm not letting Whoopi Goldberg Whoopi slide. Goldberg, I love Whoopi. That's Whoopi, crazy. But Whoopi Goldberg's kind of crazy. See, I'm not gonna it seems crazy. like they're trying to be like Whoopi you know? Goldberg, yo. Whoopi Goldberg's not a human. Whoopi Goldberg is a don't talk to me. Like that's not that's crazy. Like, that's like of course yeah. I love a black woman, but Whoopi Goldberg right. is not respectfully. Yeah, with we're, all we're, due respect. We're in treacherous waters right now. <laughs> but yeah, Whoopi Goldberg, you're wild. Has she ever been on like the ro- red carpet with like a man? No, but she's straight. Oh, we're I right. believe Whoopi Goldberg, <laughs> or maybe I don't. Actually, I won't assume. True. But I believe she's had straight relationships because she has kids. Oh, she has kids. But that doesn't necessarily mean she's straight. But I think, I'm think i pretty sure mm-hmm. she's talked about her dating history on The View. Yeah. And it's always been men. Okay. Look so, at, yeah. Look at what society's done. Look how long it took her to say that she likes guys. Because <laughs> I didn't... Yeah, listen, I didn't want to... Listen, I'm trying to be cautious, okay? Three Some words. People being like... People, <laughs> How are you assuming her yeah, sexuality? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is she straight? Yeah. Yeah. She Based have? on stuff that I've heard her say on the view, right. I think she's straight. Hey, so Sounds so. like Rihanna on that that one interview. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout what? out to Rihanna where she was like, shout out to the um communities and the <laughs> like all the pronouns. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but that isn't that when like Justin Trudeau said LGBT. LGBTQ, we like yo, he listen, couldn't get LGBTQ. Listen, everybody's trying their best, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. If you listen to this, we all tried our best. We're trying. We did. <laughs> Watching me stutter over trying to describe <laughs> what we call for each other. Anyways, let's move on to pop culture because it's going to yeah. be long. Um, all right. Should we, we get the other stuff out the way first or go to this first? I feel like we should just go to this. No? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, are we going to talk about the, the best album that dropped last week? <laughs> The best album that got, got oh, released... last week. I thought you were about to say the year. Uh, I thought you were going uh, full 180 that, on everything. No, no. The best album that got released to streaming platforms last week. And Which what is, is that, Mucho? J. Cole, the warm-up. <laughs> 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 You're shady as hell. I get up. I come up. Yo, you that, are shady as I hell. I was listening to that all day. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay, so what was the second best album that was released last week? Uh, GNX. Or this week. GNX. Was it this week? No, it was last week. I guess. Last, yeah, Friday. last Friday. Last Friday. GNX. GNX, yeah. Okay, so how do you guys feel about Kendrick's album? Because, I mean, we have a show. We have to be objective. We have to talk about hot topics. Sure. Why did you preface it like that? Yeah. Why, why? People are going to be like, oh, we're talking about, Ken- we're talking about Kendrick and Drake again. Listen, he dropped. Oh, yeah. So we have to talk about it. That's true. What is your take on the album? Asking me first? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Obvio Mucho. I like the album. I like the album. I liked... Uh, I liked eight out of eleven songs. Like I really like listened to all of them. I gave him like a handful of listens to the, the the album, all the songs. I like eight out of eleven. Trezor started bumping that peekaboo. I might like peekaboo two now as well. That sounds hard. Um, which which ones are the ones I don't like? I don't like I don't like GNX. Same. Yeah, I, same. I, I did not mm-hmm. think that was good. Me neither. And then um It was a skip. <laughs> There's another one where he was like fake deep the whole song that I thought was trash. Did you like the uh, the storytelling one from different perspectives? Uh, reincarnated. reincarnated. Yeah, yeah reincarnated. That, that, was that, that the Tupac one? Is, yeah, that's the a Tupac, Tupac one. one. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that beat is good. crazy. That was, that was I'll hard. say the the production on this album was the sounds on this album are crazy. And the sampling too, because yeah. uh, I think it's the Heart Part Six. Oh my god, I love that, that song. That has the SWV. Uh, I sample. love that song. Heart Part Six, my favorite song. Um, really? Same. On the album? Same. Same. Yeah. same. Hmm. That song is amazing. That beat is so smooth. The other one I didn't like was Man at the Garden. I didn't really like that. Okay, mm. fair. But apart from that, like in Peekaboo, I was iffy on it. I don't know. Um, Trezor might convince me on that, that song because that's some real AZ LA, LA, LA crazy. shit, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. See? Okay, so what would you rate it out of ten? Seven five, seven seven five. Okay, yeah. okay. I think that's fair. Pitchfork gave it a six point six today. Yeah. Okay. Because they don't like LA music. Mm. And one thing I'll say, and and I'm not even a Kendrick caper, is I see a lot of people saying the the album was like half album, half not like us remakes. Oh yeah. I don't think that's fair to say because it's just he's just using a sound. It's not. 
the same they type of beats. They don't understand hyphy, people say. Mm -hmm. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just the sound. And Only because, some of it is hyphy though. Most of it is yeah. LA, right? Cause that's and, different. That and day, because yeah. people, a lot of people didn't really listen to LA music like that. And their first reference might be not like us. Mm -hmm. They're trying to say it's not like us, but it's not, that's not true. That's like saying Pop Smoke's whole album is like Dior just cause he used all drill beats. It's, it doesn't, it's it doesn't work like yeah. that. <laughs> like, yeah. So I he, think that's yeah. not valid. Cause you have to listen to it with kind of a local ear, and that's why even somebody like you, you you heard Peekaboo at the first yeah. listen, and you like I understand. You it Sora has a local ear to L.A. He does. Yeah. Yeah. I understand it differently mm -hmm. because I I have what's the word in ingratiated. You have you've ingratiated. Is that yourself. the word? Yeah, that's a that's, yeah. I've ingratiated myself into L.A. culture yes. and L.A. music. So I was pleasantly surprised when I heard some of the features, mm -hmm. like the low key L.A. guys, mm -hmm. Az mm -hmm. Chike, and all those dudes. And I le liked it. Lefty gunplay. Yeah, lefty at all them. So real, real quick. So let's let's start with the first the first song. Whacked out. Murals. Okay, whacked out. Murals. I think that might have been my favorite. And I, I can see why uh, he he started off the album very on, strong. On, on at least the note. top three, if not the best, strongest outing on the album. Yeah. Mm. So I'm okay. Like say your general things about that song first, but I have a couple of things that I want to ask you guys about it. Hell of a way to start a project. I like it. Okay. I don't love it. Okay. What? You don't love it? It's a good song, but I didn't save it. I what? Nah. what? Oh, I saved it immediately. Nah. I, I hear that. Like it I saved it immediately. The replay, like I, I think it was kind of like addressing things. It's like yeah. off rip. It doesn't I'm have a lot of replay to value it, to me. And that's what it was, yeah. Okay. He's rapping his ass off, and the, the tone and yeah. the energy of it is is crazy. Yeah. So that's the musical take on it, okay? So mm -hmm. a, a, a little split, but most of us think it's good. So the so some of the things that he talked about, mm. he talked about Wayne on it, right? Mm. Yeah, with he the Super Bowl. What what exactly did he say? He said, he said that my hard work. He said I used to bump the Carter mm -hmm. three and wear my Rolly chain proud. Something something ironic. Ironic. That. It's funny. I think all my hard work le let uh, Wayne let, down. Let little Wayne down. down. And then after that, he goes on to mention how Nas was the only person that congratulated sure. him, which mm -hmm. is a bit of a play on the whole let Nas down thing. Yeah. That J. Cole did. Kind right? of a J. Cole like yeah. straight right but there. But do you actually think that Nas was the only one to congratulate him? No, no. no. The whole no. world, the no. whole world was like, oh my god. Yeah, I was gonna say and everybody then, except Snoop congratulated. And then him. Wayne tweeted about. Yeah. About it, about how he just minds his business. Yeah, but I don't don't, don't wake a sleeping giant. But I didn't said. take what Kendrick said as a diss. Though. I don't think so either. I don't, I don't think, think that's it was a diss. diss. So why should he Did you think it why was should a he feel like that though? Like uh, why like why no, I think he's just addressing how he feels, but just because I say how I feel, that does I'm not dissing you. He I don't was, think he dissed He was slighting him. That was a slight. How? Yeah. And what I mean He's saying I used to bump Carter three. Yeah, I like at that time. He said, and then like I, he's saying it's ironic that my hard work. Yeah, let Lil Wayne down. Is that what is that what he's upset about? Like you know, like he's he's not. This sounds like he's mad about it. Yes, he's upset that Wayne has feelings about it. That's what he's expressing. Yeah, with but that, that doesn't mean it's a diss though. Doesn't mean it's a diss. Yeah, but but a slight. Like, he's not praising him. It's not it's, a positive thing. Fair, fair. <laughs> I mean, like, do you rate him for feeling like that? Like to me, like. Obviously, Lil Wayne is not going to feel good about his protege's nemesis um, being the headliner for the first time that his city gets the Super Bowl. It's not the first time his city gets the Super Bowl. Huh? It's not the first time Super Bowl's Oh, sorry. Orleans. My bad. Yeah. Uh, I guess. I think it's the, the first time Lil Wayne's in a good spot. Bought, I think because I feel like one time he had just got out of jail or something like that. Okay, sorry. Yeah, well, that, all, that, that could be the case. But, but the whole yeah. thing with this Lil Wayne Super Bowl thing that I never got from the jump is like. Lil Wayne was talking, and I love Lil Wayne, but Lil Wayne was talking about how, you know, he was upset that it got taken from him. Mm -hmm. Who said it was his? Yeah. That's no right. one ever. I, that's very true. Nobody ever said, like, it was like an <laughs> internet thing where everyone got together and was like, yo, Wayne should do New Orleans. Yeah. No one actually said that he was going to do it. So why are you now upset that you didn't get something that you weren't promised anyways? Just, be, yeah. just because it's in your city. He was being it's a like, middle of entitlement. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you go. it's entitled. like that's why I feel like what Kendrick said. Uh, I kind of get it because it's like Wayne is upset, and just the 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 snowball effect of that has pushback on you automatically because now people are mad at you that you took his spot. So should so that's fair. That's fair. Maybe maybe uh, Wayne was out of bounds when he made that. Uh, did he make a tweet, a video, something like that? He, he made a, he made yeah. a video he did. too, didn't he? Yeah, I, I heard him talking. He to made someone. a video when it happened, and he got snubbed or whatever. Yeah. And he, there was a video of him like really yeah. kind of 
broken down and his energy wasn't good and he's like like sorry and like it's not a good look. So maybe maybe he was tripping for that. But on the other end, should he have congratulated Kendrick? No, you could just say nothing. I don't think he okay. needs say, to congratulate. Say, say him. nothing is what we expected. Yeah. Okay. So now for the for the stray at Snoop, because I'm just gonna go down everything he talked about in that mm-hmm, song. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For that stray at Snoop, like to me, I like how Snoop played it. Like it sounds like him and Snoop have uh, sorry, uh, Snoop and Drake have a good relationship. Mm-hmm. So he was just trying to play Switzerland, and you could tell. When he uh, when he made that tweet, like yeah, or the video, uh, yeah, sorry, the video, but he made a tweet later, right? He made Snoop a tweet. He he had a tweet about the Kendrick album. Oh yeah, oh. he said um, he he tweeted GMX yeah. is fire, and then he said it was the edibles. It was the edibles, yeah. right? Mm. To me, like that's how you should play things. Yeah, nobody's gonna die here. Yeah, like or hopefully not. Damn, but <laughs> it's just a, it's just a rap beef. We have relationships with both. Mm. Let me make sure I'm still cool on both sides. Mm. Yeah. Like, I, I got no problem with it. Somebody yeah. who, who's doing the same thing, for example, but yeah. because she's a woman, she won't come under fire, is SZA. I was going to say, yeah. Mm. There's nobody that played Switzerland better than her. Yeah. Nobody did it mm-hmm. better than her. Yeah. <laughs> you made a tweet saying that SZA is on the best song on Kendrick's album and Drake's album. Or the, the, biggest, the biggest song. song. Not yeah. best. Biggest songs. And I feel like... Did Which we- is what? Die Hard and... Luther? Rich Baby Daddy? Uh, Rich Baby no, Daddy what? and... No, Luther. Luther. Luther and... I, she's on a bunch of shit. She's um, on two songs. Oh, I thought but, you meant his last... Wasn't she on Die Hard? No, Die Hard's Blast. And Kip? No, it's I swear SZA. SZA's on... Is SZA on SZA. that song? SZA's on two songs, but Wait. I was talking about Luther. I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I was talking about Luther and Rich Baby I'll Daddy. check that. Mm. But that's how you play Switzerland perfectly. Mm. But... One thing that but I thought But can of, you play Switzerland in a situation like this? You can. SZA did. But no, but this is what I was going to say. I feel like... If you're a girl, you can, because you're not held to the same standards in beef. Mm. Like, you could be friends with two ops as a girl. Yeah, we've seen be- it. That's why you don't want to go to their birthday parties. Exactly. Oh, dear mm. God. You can't be friends <laughs> with two ops as a guy. Like, the rules just mm-hmm. change somehow. And I feel like SZA, she she slid through with that one. I mean, yeah. the rifer is on that. Oh, interesting. I thought. Oh, yes, that is right. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, the we already what else, ta- he, what else is he talking about? We already talked life? about the Nas congratulations, so mm-hmm. like in concert with uh, Wayne stuff. So this is one that not many people talked about, but randomly on Andrew the Schultz. song, and maybe I don't want to take him out of context. He just randomly said, "We all indigenous." Did he say that? He, he said did. he said that on the song. <laughs> he did. What do you think he meant by that? But what was the line before it? He prefaced it okay, with maybe, something. Maybe I have to. He use, was like, "We're all um, indigenous, like to what?" Like it's, the world? He prefaced the, whatever line he said before had something to do with that, okay. but I don't remember okay. what the line was. So if you don't mind, just. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, 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 we'll get right back, we'll to, get that back one. to that one. Uh, Clyde's looking at it. Okay. Another one that he said too was he claimed that Drake was paying for info during the beef with, with Bitcoin. Yeah, exactly. He'll never piece it up, blah, blah, blah. And, and like anybody who was down for that, it's a wrap. And so to start the out, like, cause I wanted to talk about this album without mentioning Drake. Like yeah. mm. I was hoping I could listen to the entire album and just be like, okay, like it's over. Let yourself stand on your own too. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was sorry, sorry not ahead, to cut yeah. you. So he says ducking strays when I rap bottled in the Nickersons, where you from? Not where I'm from. We all indigenous. Okay, that there was we go. He was like, where, where are you I'm from? from or where so, are you from? Not where I'm from. So which is a great indigenous. bar because that's something that a lot of uh, people in LA specifically, but other gang infested areas go through. Mm. You're walking somewhere. Somebody asks you, yo, where are you from? Mm-hmm. Right? And then he responds, we all indigenous. Mm. So yeah. So basically. Okay. So yeah. That but ties like, in. It's so, not the black Israelite so saying, stuff you're getting are, at. But are you sure it's not? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> he's hint, but I, he's <laughs> hinted at a lot of stuff like this. I'm an Maybe. Israelite. They don't don't call me black no more. Like, but I, yeah. He says all those things. Yes. Yeah. But I, I think with that, he's just saying, yo, we're all black at the end of the day. Like, but that's not what indigenous means yeah. if you're in LA. I, no, but I, <laughs> I think he just means indigenous to... Yeah. Indigenous is a stretch in terms of word choice, mm-hmm. but if it's in the context of we're from different sets, yeah. but like we all live here and we're all black, so we're all indigenous of this. All land. I'm saying is contextually, it doesn't make sense. Contextually, it makes a little sense, but it would ma- it would be a really strong bar if he really believed he was a real native. Oh, 
I don't think he does because he's been on the whole slave ships thing. He, he is, but he isn't. He's been on the slave. He's, he's been, on the black Israelite stuff. He like, is, we're though. the real Jews. Like, he's yeah. on that. Like, like he's, but he's talked about slaves and slave ships. Yeah, so I don't think yeah. he would. He has, but he's kind of all over the place. So I just wanted to ask what you guys thought about that I, one. I high key think that Drake really should have taken that angle of, ah. the Jew, of Jews. Jewish? The Israelite ah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because. Cause like, let's be honest though. Let's like, just real quick, like, okay. who's not, the real? Wait, what? not like us. <laughs> oh. You're scared. Never mind. We'll be not, okay. I promise. Not like us, right? Most people have have taken it in 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 a positive way, right? But mm. not like us is tinged sometimes by some people. It doesn't have to be Kendrick with some FBA. Mm. Type implications. What does that mean? Um, Foundational Black American. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? Like yeah. anybody who's they not, not like us. Exactly. Anybody yeah. who's not African American who lives in America or Black American, yeah, is like us. No, anyone who is not African American, yeah, is not and, like us. Exactly. Anybody yeah. who's not African American, yeah. or mm. which is kind of the retort you get. From anybody that expresses that they don't like that song, yeah. if you don't get it, it's a call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a our thing. thing. You don't You're like not it. like us. You wouldn't understand. Te tethers are not like us. Like there's mm. that implication by some people. Sometimes mm. doesn't have to be Kendrick. Doesn't have to be all his fans. Doesn't have to be everybody who likes the song. Right. Right. And so when he drops bars like that, I just say, hmm, that's it. That's it. I just think twice about it. That's mm -hmm. it. That's all. Okay, the next one was... How many notes do you have on this one song? <laughs> that song had, like, most of the newsworthy stuff to me. <laughs> most of what everyone's talking about is, is from that song. Okay, yeah. okay, fair I, I listened to this song the most, to be honest. Yeah, so did I. Okay, and then the... This is the second last one. <laughs> this <laughs> was, like... We do music reviews on Relentless. Yeah, a lot of you guys are cackling about... Mm, and then it just went empty. Oh, the Diddy. lyric that didn't... He was definitely So we all agree Diddy. he's talking about Diddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you think he's trying to say a lot of y'all cackling about Diddy, but... But you got some skeletons in, in the closet, I guess. I'm sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That checks but out. But is that another we'll, shot gonna, at Drake? We are going to circle mm. back to that. Oh, we're gonna, okay, we're going to get back we're to gonna that. We're going to circle back to that. Okay. And then the last one is never let a white comedian talk about... I was going to say the Andrew Schultz one? Uh, talk about black woman. Is he talking about Andrew Schultz? He has to be. Okay. He's talking well, about Andrew Schultz. That would make or the talking sense. about What's the other one thing? Bill something. But he's married to a black woman, though. Uh, Bill Burr? Yeah. But Bill Burr isn't talking... It, I think it could be more Gary Owen, if anything. Hmm. Because uh, mm. Bill Burr is very like they say that Bill Burr's gone woke. Bill and, Burr? You said Bill Burr? Yeah. No. Because he doesn't talk about Bill, like, he's, he doesn't, he's married to a black woman. He talks. Yeah. He, he, That's he, what I was gonna say. He's married to a black woman. Him, him and Gary Owen are married to black women, and oh, maybe, most, and maybe, they're kind of known to be white guys that can get along. I'll, with, I'll say this. I'll say this. And, I'll say this because I don't want to be the person to be like, oh. This guy dates black women. That does that means he doesn't hate them. Right, right. Maybe he's just attracted to that person. Maybe he fetishizes them. I don't know. Gary Owen, he gets a little too comfortable sometimes. Mm. I've heard that criticism. Mm -hmm. Bill Burr, I won't. I, mm. I won't. Give so him we that. all agree that's Andrew Schultz. Most that he's likely. talking about. Yeah. But why did Andrew, Andrew Schultz, Schultz is receiving it as he's talking about me? But why did he catch? This, why did he get one? Just because like Kendrick is just. I think, he was watching I, shits and gigs. And yeah, just I think literally like, that what interview. Really? He was in the middle of writing and shits and gigs was on the screen. <laughs> Oh, okay. I think I saw someone on TikTok talk about how that bar specifically um, talks about how we think that celebrities are very disconnected, but a lot of celebrities are chronically online. Like mm. they see everything and just act like they don't know what's going on. Cause mm. that, like the shits and gigs stuff, that wasn't like national news. Like you had yeah. to be in that sector of the internet to even know that that happened that's fair you're wasn't right wasn't something yeah. i'd expect kendrick to be tuned in on right yeah, exactly i just be thinking which is kind of cool about this i just album. be thinking kendrick's in like a bunker like yeah yeah just like yeah. not even with no internet just watching vhs movies in yeah. content. and and this album does prove he's mm -hmm. been he's been listening to what people are saying yeah people are kind of saying about you know you don't put people on you talk about west west and everything he's got a whole bunch yeah. of people we've never heard about people are saying you know you kind of took you've mustard heard about <laughs> don't put me in that all my la people I so I, I i will the mustard shit too yeah. they were kind of like you took his beat never worked with him again mustard's all over the album. And, and i don't know if all over but that's that, 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 that tv off oh dear god i will say i will say this too like as a general thing about the album he has an la sound that i think can revitalize california 
Because at one point, a lot of Cali music, and maybe not the Bay, but maybe Southern Cali music was starting to sound like Detroit. Yeah. They started mm. getting on like the Detroit beats, the darker mm. kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think this like kind of like funky soul type shit that he's doing, uh, like the, like Metro, uh, sorry, Mustard, mm -hmm. but flip to today type vibe, it really could give a lot of LA artists a lifeline. So it don't, could, don't people lie. just have to be, it probably will. People just have to be receptive to it. Mm -hmm. And do you think they're only receptive because it's Kendrick voice on some of these uh, beats? No, I, I would almost say the opposite. I feel like the gateway for this happening being the Kendrick beef might make people turned off from it just because of that. Mm. Like people that love Drake are not going to want to listen to L.A. music just because of this. That's what I think. And do you think that's um, the vocal majority right now? People that are just like riding for Drake because it sounds like um Kendrick kind of is like I don't know he has the industry in the palm of his hands I don't know I I really think it's I think on the internet mm -hmm. more people are writing for Drake I think in real life more people say Kendrick mm. I would say it's flip what I think so I would say it's flip yeah I don't think no. No, but I think people just see like it's you're just cool seeing... to hate Drake. Okay, you know what? Let yeah, me... I agree. So Kendrick's Kendrick's gonna... a great reason okay, to let, do so. Exactly. Let, let, let me just ask this real quick, okay? To me, women are the ones that start trends when it comes to music, right? Especially Agreed. when it comes to music that's outside, mm. yeah. right? Outside mm. music. Yeah. So I'll start with Zoe real quick, okay? This is an objective question. Mm -hmm. Take me out of it, okay? But a month from when Kendrick's album drops, what do you think will be the percentage of women that are listening to his album? GNX? Yes. Not a lot. Give me a give me a figure. Give me a percentage. Give me a ballpark. Maybe 30? 30. So like le le less, kinda, less think, than I'm one in three. Even being generous. Yeah, I'd probably say even less. So like one in four. Yeah, if, maybe, that. If, that, if that, I'd probably say maybe like one and, in five. But also, you okay. have to add right. women from where? Um, let's just say uh, women from North America. Let's add Canada and Because that is very divided. And we know, I do know a lot of LA people. The sure. LA girls are, oh, the California girls are bumping. Sure, Kendra. but that's like. But outside of them, yeah. it gets a little. So one in five about, one in four? Maybe. So maybe. Like you, you can't have the culture. 25, 20%. You, you can't have the culture if you don't have the women then. It's temporary. Look, yeah. Whoa. It's temporary. Yes. But also, I would also argue the fact that a lot of people have been saying that Drake has been turning women off. This recently. is true. I've heard that. So but this, and he makes music for men now I've, as opposed to I've women. heard that. Well, and, and that's sorry, why and that's kind of why Drake blew. It was because yes, women, women love Drake. Drake. Yeah. Exactly. But for all the dogs. Which I guess for all the dogs, obviously the title ironically was for, <laughs> I guess, men. Yeah. A lot of women, including myself, didn't really like for all the dogs. Mm, yeah. But all the men I talked to and her put loss that album on. Reason. Her loss is different. Watch your mouth. <laughs> no, I, I'm saying okay. women, the women reception. <laughs> no, no. Women mind. reception, but I love me some yeah. her loss. Yeah. But for all the dogs, I think the women reception was a lot less yeah. than Drake is. Because he was talking has crazy done. about women. <laughs> yeah. The whole album. Uh, yes and no. Yeah, he was I don't going think at he was necessarily girls talking in a way that he doesn't usually like. When he usually gets at women, it's kind of like you know. some some of it. He was being abrasive towards women. Other ones, he was just being vulnerable. Like there's some like where he was just, balling out that girl's name, Haley. Yeah, yeah like come some on. Of the, I think some of the best R and B you'll ever hear from Drake is on "For All the Dogs." Like yeah. some oh, of that newer age stuff what? is very like like that, like Bahama Promises and only members only, mm -hmm. and like some of the, members some of the, only. I'll give you Bahama Promises. Well, you guys, I don't know. I love Bahama Promises. That's like, not Bahama better Bahama than Fire and, and Desire. And, and no. but like even yes, okay. Is. So no, it's not. No, it's not. Let's, no, it's not. Bahamas promises I, is okay. better than fire I, and I, desire. I'm no, it's notorious. Not. I don't like fire. Zoe, and desire. let's let's like let's add her loss to this. If we're just jaded. No, J no. Jaded, J okay. jaded is top tier. Uh, yeah. Drake R and B. So is but fire and desire. Fire and desire is too. But let's add her loss to this discussion because I okay. guess we kind of just did. Hours in silence. Oh, that's, women love that song. You know how many women talk about hours like that song? Women love hours in silence. What? 
Oh, he's man. really turn, he's, he's, he's saying crazy things about whatever woman he's talking about in that song. You're that, right. That you're, doesn't seem like the type of thing. You're right, but like sometimes, like if Drake is saying, "I'm in the ten, yeah. ten caskets, nine for everything that you're taking to the great." No, nah, if you know, he's, he's talking his shit. There's like, there's a difference between saying this ting is like this. And tings are like this. Mm. Okay, there's there's a, a difference. Yeah, there is. Yeah, Sometimes Drake Drake gets into the former, which is fine. When he gets into the latter, that's when it gets problematic. Mm. So to me, hours in silence is more like the former. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that I agree. And I also think that like with me in this Kendrick album, Kendrick usually always has me in the first half, yeah. and then he loses me in the second. <laughs> right. Right. It's I don't know what it is. Maybe it's my brain. You know that theory of like. Your brain either listens to the lyrics first or the production first. I'm a production first brain. I did not hear that. So, I never knew that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. That's what someone, that's why I read once. I don't know how, mm-hmm. I, I don't know if it's just someone's theory or whatever, but I did read once that someone said that when people listen to music, they either focus on production or they focus on lyrics. Mm-hmm. And that's how people can work with music. I can't work with music because I'm a production first listener. Mm-hmm. People who are lyrics first listeners are more able to, that's what the article said, yeah. are more able to work while music's in the background. Yeah. I can't because I'm I get distracted because I hear the production first uh. and then I'm completely tapped in. So with Kendrick, Kendrick's very lyrical. Mm-hmm. Like very, very, very lyrical. So he tends to lose me sometimes in like the ends of his album when he gets like super, super deep, like mm-hmm. trouble, triple, quadruple entendre. That's why, that. you know what, real quick, that's why I liked the heart part six. Mm. I feel like he finally returned to finding a uh, a medium between musicality and lyricism. Yeah. Because some, was... sometimes he's just like, fuck it, let me just be boring for seven minutes. Yeah. I'm like, nigga! <laughs> but yeah. he heard 6 p.m. in New York and 12 p.m. in Cal- and was like, yeah. let me do my own version. I yeah. say this album was very, it was, like a time it was the closest to damn that he's done in a while. And that's there what you go. said earlier. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. the closest to damn. I, it's fun. And, it's and, listenable. And what, and what did I say uh, a, a week ago or something or when it, when it dropped? I'm like, Kendrick looked in the mirror after yeah. Mr. Morale yeah, 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 shook yeah. his head and said, I got to change. <laughs> <laughs> he did. You like, think, you think he, someone told him he fell off and he said, oh, I needed that? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. And also, this was the biggest surprise album drop since 2015 February. Since Blonde. Are you oh. talking about Blonde or Beyonce? One. I was going to say, who are you talking about, Frank? Uh, rap album, rap album. Since, what was since that? What was uh, the 2015. Rap album, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that Astro World? What, what was the. Is that if you're reading album? this? 20, yeah, there you go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's if you're reading this, yeah. yeah. I was going to say 2015, February. Like it was, for rap album, for sure, yeah. 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 That was, yeah, that was a. Wait, you're saying that was the best? Biggest surprise rap album since 2015, February. Okay. I mean, I think I can give that to you. Yeah. yeah. I think I can give that to you. Mm-hmm. But. Um, it did feel like a moment. Mm-hmm. If you know? you're reading this, it's too late? 100%. No, I, I meant this. Oh, you mean this drop? Yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, I didn't even notice. I was texting someone and they were like, Shh, Kendrick dropped. And I was like, excuse me? So the group <laughs> chat from us? <laughs> the group <laughs> chat from us is how you found out? Not even y'all. It was someone else. <laughs> yeah, because it was... I was texting him. He all of a sudden, he's like, Shh, Kendrick dropped. And I was like, first of all, <laughs> well, he texted rude. Me. He texted me. Shh, I'm dead. Because it was random. That's the guy that he had blocked. It was, it was very excuse random. Me? It was random. It wasn't on like regular drop schedule. Yeah, it was like That's random in the day. Right. Like, right? Yeah. yeah. And, like 11 a.m. or like yeah. noon or something. And yeah. what do you guys think of uh, kind of the rumor spreading that this was a quote unquote mixtape and something bigger is dropping soon. People, I can see uh, it. There's a lot of theories about that because apparently he always drops the heart. People, I don't, like, I'm not this big of a Kendrick fan, mm-hmm. but he always drops the heart series songs before right. an album drops. So people yeah. are using does, that yeah. theory that I could see him doing this and then after the Super Bowl dropping another album. And that would be the smart thing to do. That's mm-hmm. what people use because you don't get paid that much for Super Bowl. So people are going to, he's going to use a Super Bowl. As a leg to drop an album. And there is a bit of like a, a mixtape sort of vibe with this. You know, it's very fun. Like he's putting yeah. people on. There's there's mm. features. I wouldn't say very fun. <laughs> it's more, but like like you said, Kendrick, usually you you get he lost. Lose, he did know? still lose me a bit. I feel like mm-hmm. this was very palatable. This was digestible, you mm-hmm. know? This was something to for everybody. But where yeah. did it lose you? Like reincarnated? I think so. What that, what is that track like eight That's nine? That's track six. So yeah, where right he's like at the fake halfway point. Yeah, but that yeah. beat us. But but how and then you... I think he picked me up again at <laughs> the right after that I... TV off. Yes, because that yeah. didn't I text the bar to you guys the bar that I was yeah. I said I wanted yeah. to yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's when he picked me back up but again. You say you're a production person. That reincarnated beat is crazy. It's like a Tupac flip. 
That beat is hard. But did you hear Ooh. that beat and hear Tupac? Like, no. Because as soon as that beat dropped, I was like, oh, Tupac. Doing, this yeah. is what he's doing? Oh, oh right, no, right, I didn't right, even right, do right. that. No. Maybe because you, yeah. Maybe because you don't have the link the to that. The connection, yeah. And and real quick, I don't want to say steal. Did he bite or get influenced when he said, Mustard? Did he like... From, from, from where? That's like, that sounds to me like when Young Thug's like, Metro! Oh, no, no, Metro. no, I don't think he was trying to do what happened with that, like the way that McDonald's is posting it and shit. Like I, mm. oh I dear know. God, I thought it was just like one of those random times where he just spaz on an album for no reason. It's just Kendrick like does weird things, just things where he just yells and makes very like just out of nowhere noises. You don't think it's influenced by that Metro? I don't think I don't so. Think it could be. No. You're right. I never made that connection, but I don't, I don't think, think so. so. No, I don't think so. And also, uh, the video for Squabble Up, I noticed. It's like a different version of the song than the song that's on the album. Like um Oh wow. The that's part where like the part where he's like chants, I don't remember what he says. He's like uh, 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 that little part in the middle, the okay. like chant, yeah, the chant repeat. Yeah. Part. It's different. It's different in the video. Mm. When they have those like uh choir chants or whatever, like yeah. a lot of music video directors, if you're smart, you switch that part up. You switch it to make it feel like the per the people chanting are in the music video. The best yeah. time that's yeah. ever happened in a fucking music video <coughs> was in the Back in Blood music video. He was oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Is that, that is the best use Yo, of doing it. Yo, Wesley, that's my dog. Yo, Yo you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean I, I be listening to the studio version what? and be getting mad. I wish that, I I hear wish that. that was on streaming. Yo. I wish that was Back on streaming. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Oh, you mean like the music video version? Yeah, the music video version. that's my dog. <laughs> my nigga, that's what, that's what they be doing. Yeah. Or, or, or the bed, or the bed in my mama line in yeah. God's plan, the music video. He's got the oh, whole yeah, school yeah. of people saying a very Toronto centric version too is Doovy Nightmares. Well, I don't know if you guys know. I'm not song. familiar. That's super. But Toronto. I really yeah. hate when the music video is different than the like a streaming or whatever or an mm. album version. But then the music video version is better. I know me, yeah, me too. Yeah. But yeah, I really so. hate that. It's almost worse. It, what's worse than that is when the snippet in 20 seconds is better than the full three minutes in, in 20 seconds. That's how I felt about Squabble Up. I remember hearing that snippet and was like, yo, whenever this really? drops. Oh, the snippet at the beginning whenever, of the yeah, Not yeah, Like yeah. Us video. Whenever this drops, he's going to be out of here. He's got another oh, one. And then it, the full thing dropped and I was a little I still underwhelmed. Liked it, but it's yeah. still a bang. It's it's still not a, a, I was just a little underwhelmed. I was yeah. personally. It's not oh. a heat rocket, but yeah. it's still a bang. I, I thought it was like another one. Oh. Like, I thought it was like, oh. He's so, something else that was uh, like in that video. Did you see the the American flags? The pan yeah, it was like the flag. black. The, they're pan. Y'all didn't say the the colors. Yeah. The black flags and it was, mm. was Pan African colors on an American flag. You should have had Doctor Umar in the video. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, no. Really. <laughs> and then he had the um, that Black Panther glass like. Thing that all the black people have in their houses. I seen LA people going on and on about that. That there's the some Panther. cultural LA thing with that. You know the the like model clay figurine, it's and it's a black that. panther, and a lot of black mm. people have it. Oh mm. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, it was like a big one of that, and on the other side, it was like pictures of Black Jesus. Oh, mm. I want to interview Kendrick. Do you? Yeah. I want to <laughs> ask him, like, especially when it comes to like. Like the black identity that he reps, it just it's so all over the place yes. sometimes. Mm. Like I don't know, I don't know what he's getting at. I what feel do you like mean by all over the place. Because for example, he does that like we um the black we, Israelite shit. He, does, he says the black Israelite stuff. Then he's like, we all indigenous. So one is Israelite, one is the indigenous co uh, mm -hmm. conspiracy. Those those are two different things. Those are contradictory. And like, then he has the Marcus Gar then he has the Marcus Garvey Pan African colors on the American flag in Squabble Up. I'm like brother. These are three conflicting theories. And you have songs with Taylor Swift. Like, this is crazy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. And then like, I'm like, like, what do you believe? Like, what does like what does not like us mean? What does that hook mean? Because it means what you want it to. So it's like yeah. But isn't that the point of an artist? Like you're trying to find your own answers. Up to interpretation. The yeah, there you yeah go. there's there's two ways to look at art, right? You could look at art um, from the artist's point of view, but there's also a theory that's called death of the author where it's all up to interpretation of the mm. audience. There's two ways to look at it. So would you say he succeeds in that then? 
Death of the author? Yeah, probably, because he confuses you and makes you listen twice. Oh, no, <laughs> he's, he's really the best at the other thing, because he will say one thing and probably not even mean that, yeah, but his fans yeah. will give it meaning exactly. and put so much yeah, you know what? You're right, Trey. that he didn't even he's, mean, and it's like, yo. He's yeah. the king of Death of the Author. Because yeah. he makes you talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't, which I don't know how he does. Like, that's that's got to be the perfect fan base situation, that, like, you go out and say hi, and it's like, well, you know that H is the eighth letter of the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> and you know when you pair that with a double consonant like, yeah they tried right. to say what did they say they said because i think who i don't know did he tweet something where he said like headshot for the week or headshot for the album something about that i think that sounds Someone familiar said somebody like that, tweeted that yeah. and then allegedly the day he dropped it, I think it was the 24th, like oh, 824 oh. was like the day that John was, F. Kennedy yeah, got JFK assassination. Oh, wow. headshot yeah. oh, and died. God. Yeah. All right. Let's and move on. Yeah, we, we will move on. Oh, my bad. But he had a, you just reminded me of a bar. He's like, I'll put a square on your back like, like Jack, Jack Dorsey. Dorsey or something. Yeah. And I'm like, fam, you can't have friends in high places like this and act like you're super for the community. Like Jack Dorsey, Jack like Dorsey's the, the Twitter. Twitter. Twitter, guy. Twitter guy. The guy that hates yeah. Drake. Yeah, exactly. Jack Dorsey hates Drake. Mm-hmm. Hates I mean, him. he was tweeting every "Not Like Us" bar as soon as it dropped. Wasn't there so? Because Jack Dorsey had a thing with Title, and Drake bailed on Title last oh, I didn't minute. Know that. Okay. Um, so I think that's where. But it comes also, from. wasn't there something where, like, oh, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't like Drake trying to like holla at his girlfriend or something? I heard no, no, something no. like that. Oh, his girlfriend? Yeah, it's like Drake was trying yeah. to holla at his shorty yeah, or Drake, something. Drake, you gotta relax on these tigs, fam. <laughs> oh my god! I, I don't thought, know if I that's thought you're true. mixing him up with the Reddit CEO, but you're talking about two different social media CEOs. That's crazy. I could have swore I heard something like that. All right, let's move on to this Drake petition. Yes, yes, the lawsuit yes. part two of this. So it's well, not a lawsuit. lawsuit. It's not a lawsuit. It's a petition. petition. Yeah, Zoe. Yeah. Zoe's been reading now. All right, I read Zoe. all seventeen pages of the petition. So basically, it's a petition that he that his lawyers are basically telling Universal and Spotify that they have to provide evidence. Before that, this goes to okay. becomes a lawsuit or even potentially goes to trial, which I don't think. And what was it alluding? What do you mean? What was it alluding? Like, what's it about? Oh, everything. So it's about basically, yes, the headlines say that Drake is suing Spotify and Universal Music Group, which is his own label, for fabricating and inflating the downloads of Not Like Us, trying to make it a more viral song with more impact than it actually was. Mm -hmm. There's a whole bunch of different um, points in there. They reference, and I think it was... Real real quick, it's on the cusp of him trying to um, renegotiate his next contract. Yes. Just just for context. It's not in the lawsuit, Yeah, just for context. But like then this is also... Kind of going jumping ahead, big part but of how it, does he think that this is going to help renegotiate his contract? It decreases his value. So, for in in his in his opinion, yeah, he, like it's UMG in concert with Spotify mm. using Kendrick as a pawn, right, to devalue his his value oh. before he ups his next contract. Yeah. So they're plotting against him in order to devalue his own. Yeah. yeah, that's right. that's his theory of the case. But as of right now, huh. Drake has the biggest music deal in history mm-hmm. with Universal. Bigger than Prince, bigger than Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was, I think, like 250, 300 million with Sony. Mm-hmm. Prince was like 100, 150 with Warner. And Drake is 400 million. 400 M's, that's a low ball, nigga. With um, <sighs> Universal. Mm-hmm. So he has the biggest music deal in history. Which I, I think is fair to say that he was a little undervalued in that. A little? Well, yeah, I, significantly. Do you want to play the... So I went back to down this crazy rabbit hole last night because I was like, okay, what the hell is going on? Because at first they made it seem like, okay, this um, lawsuit or this petition is about the beef. But when you really read the petition and when you kind of go down like previous interviews and stuff, it's not about really the beef too much. Like it is, but it's more about, to your point, renegotiating yeah. his contract and him versus this Lucian, who is the CEO of Universal. Billionaires talk to Lucian me different Grange. when they see my pay stubs on Lucian Grange. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there you go. And he did say in, uh, what was it, Middle of the Ocean, uh, treat me like a newborn, Lucian not dropping me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that also goes to when Kanye so, uh, said on the Justin L.A. Boy or LaVoy interview that Drake has a rich, rich baby daddy and his baby daddy's name is Lucian. And Justin Boy was like, Lucian? 
loose on this was baby daddy. Like, he was, I don't know if he was just dumb or <laughs> Take dumb. a shot if you love yourself. <laughs> like, yeah. That's his only response. When I was watching, I was like, yo, nigga, that tap in. That was his in. emotes. Yeah, yeah, but he didn't really understand. But now you think about, okay, you understand what Kanye was already getting at. That mm-hmm. Drake has this man kind of in his pocket who's basically paying for whatever, giving so, all this money, whatever, whatever. And Lucian Grange, he's pretty much credited with like, revitalizing the music industry. Yeah. Mm. Like when he, like I think he was signed 15 years ago. So imagine the music industry in like 2009. Yeah. Like before Spotify, but when like nobody could sell a record. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it was a very dark place. Yeah. yeah. Lucian, and, he has a lot of power. Yeah. And his son also is in the industry. What record label is it? You and Universal. Uh, 18, oh, no, no, no. 18, oh. 18, 1800 or 18K something. I thought it was like Atlantic or something big. No, he is now. Now. Oh, but his okay. main thing, he know. was whatever label Takashi and I think Ice Spice is signed to, or Takashi was signed to, is Lucian's son. And a yeah. lot of people suggest that that's why Takashi blew the way he did is because, mm. Mm, because the he power is that formula. Be. 10K. Popped, yeah, 10K, 10K productions or whatever. So to your point, mm. it's 400 yeah. million low for Drake. I went back yeah. and found a clip that oh, Joe wow. Budden had with Larry Jackson. Mm. And Larry Jackson? Yeah, Larry, Larry Jackson. Jackson. And Larry Jackson said something I was like, I didn't even realize. So I don't know if you want to play the clip so we can hear it. But do you think that we Drake's hear it. Oh, there, is tools it? But do you no. think oh, Drake... Okay, well, just <laughs> no, yeah, I got to hear. I don't think Trisori sure. <laughs> will be able It's connected to, to your... Uh... Actually, yeah, never mind, because we want to hear the mic. Deals are a point of contention for his... This, man. All right, well, while working? he tries to it, find it... It is. It's just the music. It sounds distorted. Mm. Okay, anyways, I'll I mean... Play it. No, 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 no. I'll play, it. I'll play it here, but... Do you have it? In two seconds, yeah. Yeah, but basically, when we'll play it, like, Larry Jackson says something that, like, kind of puts... You know, like the million versus billion theory? Mm. Like if you put a million grains of rice versus a billion grains of rice, what he says, you realize like how much Drake is actually worth. Oh, there you go. But do you think that Drake's deals are a point of contention for his peers? I can't answer that question. That's not, that's not my, it's not appropriate on my my place. I have to, I have to definitely display good cultural etiquette. So my wild theory was that Drake had to have some type of hand in Gamma, which is why he's promoting Ross albums and Sexy Red. And he must have some type of deal that's not even available to other people to whereas he gets to be the owner and player or player and whatever that other title is. Private Equity was investing so much money into catalogs because capital was cheap in 2019, 2020, interest rates were very low, so borrowing capital was very easy. Streaming is that it's provided predictable insight into recurring revenue. So like I was saying earlier, it's very easy to predict what something can do, what it can generate, because there's now all of this historical data now going back to the early 2010s around what things have streamed. And, it, and you could, it's, it's very easy to figure out and calculate and quantify. There's a myth out there that catalog is bigger than it's ever become. and it, it's an, it's, I, I think it's actually an intentionally skewed perspective that's been seeded because anything that's considered catalog is music that is older than 18 months. So the thing that I'll say to you about the artist you just mentioned is that if you look at his music, he's bigger than the 70s, 80s, and 90s combined. I don't mean like one artist from that era. I mean all of those eras combined. That was summarize. So yeah, basically what he It'll was be, saying. It'll be, everyone will be able to hear it. It'll I was gonna be say, edited. That in. was I know, terrible. I know, I um, know. So basically what he was saying was, and he doesn't say Drake's name for whatever reason, but you know he's talking he's, about Drake. I know what he's doing. He's Oop. smart because he doesn't want to get clipped saying Oop. Drake's That's fair. name. And Larry Jackson, I'm pretty sure was the guy that worked. He owns Gamma. He owned he owns Gamma, but he got brought on to Apple and was the person that ushered in all those exclusive yeah. deals. I think mm-hmm. that happened when Drake did Views, when Chance did Coloring Book. Yeah. He was kind of the mastermind behind that. But yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. But the key to what he says, and what stood out to me, is that the artist Drake's catalog that they're referring to, which is something, what do you say, within eighteen months, mm-hmm. is bigger than the seventies, eighties, and nineties era of music combined. Shut the what with all artists what in terms of streaming numbers yeah. in terms of so yes yeah, so drake's catalog is mm. as big as the 70s 
80s and 90s era of music, those three decades of music of all relevant artists combined. That's Stevie listen, Nicks, Janis Joplin, Elvis, all the niggas. Listen to I that leverage it. and understand the incentive behind why the powers that may be want to decrease that leverage. But I, now the lawsuit makes more sense. The timing is bad for optics in the short term, sure. But that lawsuit actually makes sense if what he's suing for has credence to it. Yeah. Mm. And it also kind of does make sense. It sounds like crazy, but if you really think about it, who are the people that are listening to the 70s, 80s music? It's older people. Our older parents. people aren't really on streaming platforms anyways yeah so how they're listening to their music is probably mp3s or old cds yes, and stuff like that, that. that they already so bought that they already bought so that i'm just talking from the streaming numbers specifically yeah the numbers probably don't exactly reflect the amount of people that actually listen to that music because they listen in a different way we're talking about three decades of music yeah with not just one artist he said all yeah artists. That, that is still insane but i'm just saying like for perspective Sure. Like the people that are listening to the Beatles, yeah, aren't listening on Spotify. You're giving a good reasoning behind it, a hundred percent. But Drake, but that's still insane, yeah, and I believe yeah, it though. Yeah. I do believe it. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're saying why it's why it's reasonable? Yeah. yeah. And I think yes, to your point, when it comes to renegotiation time, I'm just playing that clip. <laughs> I have three decades worth of music. Now I have three decades comparable to my catalog of every artist in that three decades in the past yeah. year and a half and i've barely been active for no two older decades. than 18 months older than older 18 than months. 18 months yeah okay, okay. yeah drake's and music that's older than 18 yeah months. that's yeah oh, okay, i okay. get but it still because yeah, it's still crazy yeah. i've seen russ said in an interview once and people hate russ but he'd be talking the truth sometimes mm -hmm. he said mm -hmm. how if drake went independent it would, that would destroy the music industry and that's what he tested with 100 gigs and that's what that's what I was reading on too. A hundred mm -hmm. gigs it, wasn't like oh uh, surprise da da da. It was let me test my market. Let me see how much clicks, generation, downloads, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. I can get on my own. And that was and he uh, proved that he can do that even while being antagonistic towards the yes. powers that may be. And that was kind of why people were saying why certain of those tracks were coming out on Instagram, Instagram. Oh. like and they were getting str stricken down by his label I'm still mad that blue streaming. red green is not like, what, so maybe that's clearing that's was clearing. that clearing, clearing or was that because it's not even on streaming my fault I think I think um boy one day said that was clearing my oh fault. Okay, okay I don't want to conflate the two things okay yeah but it, still like it does seem like there's some shadow banning or something going on there that's kind of weird because you're saying like he's testing it I feel like it was less of like a test and more of like a reaction was mm. like, this is all what you guys are doing. You guys think that I need you? No, watch this. I'm going to go put out my own shit. But it's like, I don't know. The No Face music video has less than 400,000 views. Mm. And it's like, that's On very YouTube? strange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's that very is very strange. weird. And when you consider all these little Spotify tricks and, you know, songs being played like one after another. And I, I don't know. It's, it's very... Looks like nasty. Yeah, work. they're definitely not pushing. So you it, think they're shadow banning? Also, them. or people aren't listening. To, well, it's one or two. It's binary. Yeah, I feel like. But also, I think yeah, that was not even pushed that much. Mm -hmm. Like the no face music video was not pushed that much. You no, really he posted people it on Instagram with it. a few OVO guys. And yeah, I I know what you're saying. Some people are saying how like yeah, like people have been listening to Drake less. That's what some people are saying. Mm -hmm. But to the point. Where they're talking about the labels um, upping not like us with bots and stuff. And then people saying, see, people don't Jack Kendrick like that. It's the bots, whatever, whatever. I want people to really just think like the music industry uses bots just in general. I don't know yeah, if people, sure. that's why numbers, and I've always been kind of like this, like numbers are very just vanity metrics because you can manipulate numbers mm -hmm. very, very easily, easily. Mm -hmm. from back in the day remember when you could like go on certain websites and like just get 
10,000 Instagram followers for free. Back yeah. in the day, people are doing that do to that. this day. Now. What? Yeah, How but now... How half the influencer industry Yeah, made? Instagram will... It yeah, but, yeah, but now it's, now... it's yeah. harder now. It's yeah. harder now. 2017, 18, it was like... down on it. It's not... But it's not fake followers anymore. It's like... Bought they're bots. Accounts, they're botting accounts. But more they're doing it now through like those like raffles and stuff. So like there's ways around it. But like back in 2017, yeah, 18, I literally yeah. remember doing it on an old Instagram. You could go on a website, mm-hmm. pick how much followers you wanted, and, and it would get. give you that. And buy it, yeah. And they had a purge in like 2018, mm-hmm. 19. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Where like everyone's yeah. followers started to drop. Yeah. And it's like, so yeah, are you, you saying base? it's like a media literacy thing? <laughs> kind of. Because it's like- Word. There's a, there's a few different like ways to look at it. One, it's like I get why labels do it because, like we said before, like no one wants to be first to the party. Mm-hmm. So if you make something look more popping than it actually is, then in real life, more people, more people will, will actually follow. do it because and numbers makes you look legit. Exactly, mm-hmm. and your stock will go up even in terms of like advertising and stuff. If you want to go get a deal with Target or with Sprite, and I have a million monthly listeners versus I have two hundred thousand, mm-hmm. it makes a difference. The industry uses bots. They're say, accusing Kendrick of doing it. I will also st- just concur, and I don't know this for a fact, and even if Drake's not doing it himself, Drake's label is using bots for him as well, I assume. For even sure. if he's not like he's not clearing it, I'm sure they have some sort of legal jargon where they're allowed to do that. Mm. Like, like... All the big art. That's why the big artists are so huge. It's not a. Uh, it's not by chance that no independent artist is at the top of any music industry. Like that's not that's not a coincidence. It's not mm-hmm. that all the independent artists suck. It's just there's certain things put in place to stop you or to push everyone else up. And another thing that Russ said was how the bots work, though, because I think people think when you hear bots, you think like I have a thousand monthly listeners or a thousand streams on a song and tomorrow you wake up and i have 10 million that's not really how they do botting they do botting with people that you would not notice it with so basically it's like if let's just use not like us in this example if not like us had 500 million real streams me going from 1000 to 10 million is way more noticeable than not like us going from 500 million to 700 million. Yeah. Because mm. you wouldn't really notice. Yeah. Because the song is huge. Right. And if 500 million are real, what is it to add a sprinkle of extra 200 million? No Eth- one yeah. would really know. Mm. Ethical botting. Yeah. No one would really know because like the proof is that the song is big. Mm-hmm. So that's how they bought. It's taking comments from 100K to 250K. It's not taking comments from 10 mm. to 100,000. Mm. That's why sometimes if you look, if you just scroll through YouTube music video comments for big artists, it's a lot of spam. Yeah. Mm. And that's not AuthenticViews.com. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like that's not by coincidence. It's a bunch of random accounts just posting emojis in yeah. the comments. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on purpose. Well, that's how I feel about certain artists one of their biggest hits. I won't say who, but they, when you look at the numbers that the artist pulled in, it is screaming bot. Man, man, woman. It's a woman. I am so, was it the artist that was recently here? No. What? (laughs) I just, sometimes when I say artist names on here, I get nervous because I'm like, (laughs) Uh, what does her name rhyme with? That is so hard. Uh, <laughs> Leonce. I know, right? <laughs> uh, Rick, yeah, Ricky I don't even know or Ricky Jajaj. Uh, <laughs> Say that again. Ricky Jajaj. Who's Ricky Dajaj? Who's that? What's that even right? Jihad. Oh, thank you. Wait. <laughs> that was stupid. Uh, no, it's not that very good either. Um, what's what's the artist's name? Party start, start Tree. With? No. Uh, Mama Mia. Mama Mia. Um. Oh. Mama Mia? Maybe not the mama, more the Mia. Yeah. I'm lost. Oh, okay. I, I'm lost too. The light skin one? Yes. Talking about oh. Mia? No, not that. No, I thought, not you, I B- thought no. you meant Mia. <laughs> Dance hall. Oh. 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 Well, now you exposed yourself. Yes. Well, Sia. <laughs> yes. Sia well, wouldn't I mean, want to be a. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. One of her songs, the numbers don't make the any sense. The newest one? 
Uh, like the newest big song? I guess That so. has something to do with a car, car? crash? Car? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> When you and my friends and I have already talked about this because I have a friend in the music industry and she's like, bro, there is no way that that song pulled in the numbers mm -hmm. at that time when she dropped it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, there's no way. Like, and that was a time where like Ice Spice was at her highest. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff, and we were like, what? Like, these, like com even compared to some of her old stuff, it just didn't make sense. Yeah. yeah. I want to know if I wonder if these artists like believe <laughs> these numbers themselves. No, or they like can't. they know what's going on. I don't know I, if you guys remember yeah. um, Travis Scott re-released Days Before Rodeo, which mm -hmm. was like his mixtape, and like I think they they had it that he sold 150 thousand units the first week. Yes, which is like a lot. I don't man. believe that. Like, bro, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't. Believe your that. old album isn't moving like a crazy like first week sales for like a premier perennial artist. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. nah, yeah. like stop yeah. that. It just like I I do think that anybody could get. Anybody could get a little bit curious if it's cool if you're igniting the fire, right? Mm -hmm. For every major artist on your label. But when you're using that to diminish the leverage of the biggest artist in the world, yeah. That's when it could get murky. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think it's grounds for a legal battle. I think it's yeah. fair. Well, I mean, there's also the whole thing that in the petition that UMG and Spotify yeah. have like this crazy deal where like umg like really tried to hone in on streaming and like the value of streaming with this deal with spotify and you know yeah and then there was the accusation that umg paid spotify 30 percent less for to stream not like us oh and yes. all the, like we'll have so a lot that's, of so implications that's big, if that's bigger true. than body yes that's, exactly that's, that's a, a lot of implications and I think people are not really emphasizing which rory did from rory oh, and mall he yeah. made a video about it like that is mm -hmm. a crazy yeah. part in that whole petition. but it's allowed because it's not allowed what no like there, the loophole there's loopholes for them to do that because the late the big three labels have stake in spotify like they're shareholders right. in spotify so they can finesse like they, they can finesse it. Well, no, I mean, but they they can technically do that, but yeah. legally that's collusion. Yeah. If if somebody if if Drake has asymmetrical information about that, if he doesn't know that's happening, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the then one, that's then that's collusion to yeah. devalue your one of your biggest partners. Yeah, yeah. And the one part that threw me in the petition also was when they referenced. Someone who was on a podcast, which I think it was the at, NFR podcast. Yeah, the yeah. NFR. The, well, yeah, they referenced the NFR podcast posting, mm -hmm. right? And then they said that there was someone on a podcast that said that they were paid twenty five hundred dollars to add bots to not like us, and then they were offered another twenty five hundred, which it was complete, and then shares in the song. Which I was like, oh, they say that's academics. I think. I think it was from academics, yeah. but I'm like, academics was talking. I don't to this know guy. how accurate that There's is. Shares in the song is. Crazy. I've seen like a lot of evidence the about song. the guy that Ak was talking to that stream, and while they're why they are saying, I don't know about that guy. Like he's kind of just yeah. saying things. He but, seems a little shady. But, but on the note of just like paying for play and payola, payola. essentially what you're talking about mm. to me this was one of the biggest eye openers was one of drake's biggest ops in history uh funk flex tweeting out that drake is a hundred percent right national play per song drake don't pay for play pop in chr radio is 350k urban radio is 250 mix show is 100 local mix show is 40k local dj three to five k per song this is why independent artists don't rise to the top mm -hmm. all you artists know i ain't never take a dime from you your manager or your labels yeah bomb has you have no to, price like that's why they talk about working a record or breaking a song yeah. you're just paying then that's but why is a real thing because like transparently have we not been offered money to promote songs on this show yeah. but but yes. we're not like th but there's i think i believe there's specific rules against the radio doing it if you're syndicated yeah like that. legally yeah, you can do that you can't specifically yes, with the but radio they do call out influencers podcasts and whatever true. on yeah. payola true you apparently apparently you can't do that either a label can't i don't yeah. see how Is that's that true, true. I don't know, actually. Well, no, I, I, I don't see how that could be true for influencing a podcast because it's advertising. But I think you're supposed to say it's an ad now. 
Maybe that's it. Yeah. Um, Zoe. This is so maybe mm. that's it. Maybe if you're doing yeah. it and you're not, because there are rules now with like paid partnerships where you have to disclose that information. Yeah. So if you're not you transparent, that like, hey, yeah. we're paid by this person to play this song. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like we. That's yeah. why, like, even like when you post stuff, you have to put hashtag ad. Hashtag ad. Well, that's also okay. FTC guidelines too, right? Okay. You have to put hashtag ad or that's in fair. paid partnership with. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe that's why. And then, but we legally, sorry, not to cut you legally, we can't take a thousand dollars and just play this song. Like, oh, this song's so hot right now. Have you heard it? And play it (laughs) without the disclaimer of whatever. Hey guys, we are getting paid for this. (laughs) Yeah, I don't think you have to say it like that, but there's probably something. Just hashtag our ad. Kev on stage made a video about um, the lawsuit, but he's alleging Drake suing. And I think he had a perspective that I didn't expect think a lot of people would have. So I'll just play it for you. Yeah. This is funny. Cause it was interesting to me. And let me just take off the Wi-Fi because I guess that doesn't work in here. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, here it is. Let's talk about this Drake lawsuit real quick. Oh. And I'm not doing my podcast. <laughs> That's fine. Does that work? That's fine. That's, That's fine. fine. Because I'm on the Bluetooth, y'all. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That works. So I want to talk about this Drake lawsuit real quick, and I'm not doing my podcast this week, so I'm going to share my thoughts short and here. Now, technically, it's not a lawsuit. It's like a pre-action petition, which says, hey, we might want to do a lawsuit, so we want to get this information out so that we may be able to do a lawsuit. Here's why I think it was a mistake. One, in black culture, it basically just looks like you calling the cops. For whatever reason, it looks like you said, I'm just going to call the cops. I'm, I'm calling my lawyer. And in the black community, that's that's frowned upon. I would say at minimum, it's frowned upon. Two, even if it were true, and I'm not even arguing it's not, you, you are basically alleging that the record company was you know, boosting up Not Like Us, playing it when people were asking for something else, playing it after every single song. That could be true. If it was, that's payola, which has existed since the beginning of time in the music industry. You paid DJs, you paid record companies, you played, you know, radio hosts, all those people. Right. But by then you're alleging that they are boosting the song and you're missing that the song was actually really big in the black community in hip hop overall which kendrick said i'm what the culture's feeling so by saying my lawyers we're going to be on you you guys are boosting it seems that you're disconnected from the culture so to you know basically bait kendrick you need to drop 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 now nah, you ain't getting away from this and then he drops and you're like well they was helping you now which one is it i, I feel like he might have been better off just admitting defeat or being quiet but the possible worst action ever is to go, I mean, my lawyers will hear about this. Your lawyers? Even if you win, you lose. Even if you win this case, right? And say you're beefing with Kendrick, it's with UMG. Even if you win this case in the court of law, you by far have lost this case in the court of public opinion, which is where your career and your legacy is judged, right? This is a smear mark probably worse than just losing straight up. In the black community, you could take an L and live. Like he took an L to me in the Pusha T beat. Like he never responded, we clowned him, but eventually he came back and people was listening to the music again. I feel like he could have done that. Yeah, I was gonna say, okay. he's right. pissing me off, so what do you sorry. Think? So, because he's missing people, the forest for the trees. Thank you. So what do you the think people about what are, He's missing the point. Everyone's focusing on the beef, the beef, the beef, the beef. This is, yeah, he lost yeah. the beef, lost the beef. To Mucho's point, it's simple. He's trying to negotiate more money. This is a selfish act for Drake, and he's willing to fall on the sword to renegotiate his contract. He's willing I'm to- I'm die, all you niggas are dying. Literally. He's literally willing to fall on the sword to prove his worth and get more money because, to our point earlier, he's clearly worth more than $400 million. So people keep focusing on, oh, he's, he's calling the cops. Oh, he's bringing in legal. Oh, he's sorry that he lost the beef. He doesn't give a fuck about losing the beef. There's obviously a deeper. He gives a fuck about his, the value, mm-hmm. right? If he is in a space where he has to negotiate his value, what else do you want the nigga to do? Oh. It's simple as that. Put the beef aside. If the whole thing wasn't about the, his, if his value never decreased, or if there wasn't this, you know, petition about, you know, the bots and the streams and, you know, people conspiring against him to decrease his value, then this wouldn't obviously be a thing. Mm. If he wasn't up for the contract negotiation, this wouldn't be a thing. But he needs to fall on the sword to bring in the money that he's worth. 
So the because he wouldn't be able to any other way. So in other words, the beef had nothing. This just happened to be happening. I think the beef is collateral damage. Okay. And then this, I think this is where like the two sides of consumers mm. fall. It's people that read headlines and people and that people actually... who read seventeen pages of the petition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because the people that read headlines are probably going to share that sentiment. Yes. But a majority of people just read headlines. Shout out to you for, for sharing that because that, that boiled my blood for a second. <laughs> <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense. Take yeah, the beef he's, out. Yeah. He, he's, he's looking at it a little small for us. And I know, I know this guy. I think he's from Cali. Uh, he lives there. He's or not he, from he there, lives no. there, but he, yeah. he has that perspective and fair enough. Mm -hmm. And people could say that about me too because I, I live in Toronto. But I am trying to look at it as objectively as possible. The actual situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that in the short term, we can all agree the optics are bad for Drake. Oh, for sure. I think and he has to die on the sword. <laughs> there yeah. you go. That was a good way to put it. Yeah. yeah. It, it, really, it really was. In the long term, it's high risk, high reward. Mm -hmm. And even if he doesn't mean it to be, um, if he wins right here in this area, it's not only good for him, it's good for all artists. Because he's talking about payola, sure, this has happened forever, but this is a different environment where now the 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 labels, so that's the person that's manufacturing things, and the distributor are in collusion yeah. with the people that are producing or with the people that are on the retail side. Mm. And that's messed up. That's actually very messed up. But the thing that yeah. make doesn't make sense to me though is because you're saying they're in collusion with people on the retail side, but mm. streaming is the retail side. Because I guess that's I, where well, artists I, make their money from yeah. on in terms of like royalties and music wise. Yeah. That's where they make their money from. So if I'm signed to a label that has shares in the distribution of my music, you basically control if I pop or not on both ends. You have the power to tell me I can or can't drop. And even if I do drop, you have the power to make it go or to hide me. Sorry, that's a better way to put it. You're right. So, yeah. but still, like, but like that's what Drake is saying. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, and and I just feel like I completely agree with that. I just hope that Drake at some point mm -hmm. will also say that he has benefited from it as well. Sure. Like sure. I don't even, want even it. Though, even, I don't want it to seem like yeah. he's just a lone wolf that has never benefited exactly. from this. He clearly did, even yeah. if it's not from his but, own. But like, because I think Funk Flex is. Uh, implying that Drake he never, never did, yeah, that's, that's never what did. Flex is saying. He's never paid. Maybe he's but, never paid. But the he label from never. But yeah, but, but the but labels, labels have definitely, have definitely paid to pushed push him. Music. We've seen For social sure. media accounts that are like stream, like Spotify uh, accounts that have said have said like streams. Uh, Scorpion, yeah, like this has happened. This yeah, is true. for sure. But there's always levels to things, mm. and in the midst of this rene renegotiation, trying to devalue your biggest asset. In any other industry, this is grounds for legal battles. Well, yeah. yeah, you're trying to devalue your biggest asset using another asset. Isn't Kendrick also not universal? Um, not anymore. I don't think Are you so. sure? I, PG I, Lang, he's, he, he's in the yeah, but, He's not connected to Universal is, at all. He he's definitely part of the big three. He has to be. Yeah, his yeah. distribution now. But I think since he's not on TD anymore, I don't think he's signed to anybody. I believe but, so. I think PG Lang has distribution with a label, but I don't know if he's signed. This this album, GNX, is under PG Lang and Interscope. So I think the distribution is just Interscope and, yeah. and else. Interscope is through UMG, no? Yes. So we're doing... so Distribution. So we're, we're the distribution just, we're, is yeah. UMG. Yeah. The distribution, yeah. Okay. But my thing is, and I think the point that people... There were two also sections... As I put on my glasses, sections three and four in this petition. Come on, was yeah. Spotify and UMG have a long-standing symbiotic business relationship. As one of Spotify's earliest supporters, UMG entered a multi-year global license agreement with Spotify in 2020. UMG and Spotify collaborate on strategic marketing campaigns and products, and in 2024 announced an expansion of their strategic partnership, though which Spotify will amplify music discovery, social interaction, and enhance fan experiences across the platform for UMG's specific family of artists and songwriters. Based on UMG's financial reporting, Spotify paid UMG $2.28 billion in 2023, which amounted to 19% of UMG's total revenue. And then they announced their new slogan, Streaming 2.0, 
which illustrates the importance UMG places on saturating the streaming market. Nasty. Damn. Then to turn around and under the table. Oh my God. Yeah, and then to turn around oh under the God. table, pay 30% discount on a song. Mm-hmm. Come on, fam. Yeah. yeah so, hey, crazy, we, we don't have all the information yet. And I don't well, think we ever will. Yeah, so... I don't know. I guess we're just giving different perspectives. Yeah, bro. I'm just. I not, hope it's just good for all artists. Yeah, I'm just yeah. not shocked. Like as someone that's kind of seen behind the curtain. Yeah, I'm not shocked at any of this because this that, is like, like you're a part time artist. Like, is this not like why are people more surprised about this kind of like because outcome? it's the like it's the music industry is the Wizard of Oz, bro. You see this big figure at the front and you don't see the people in the regular people at the back mm. pulling the strings Shit. yeah and but, it's it's to keep that illusion like the whole industry not even just music entertainment industry is all illusions mm-hmm. fake cars fake jewelry fake houses you're on pimp my ride those aren't your cars you're on um mtv cribs that's not your house but it's all to build the stock basically of the product which is the artist or the actor or whoever it is to in turn make more money outside of that industry with the if you're a mu- if you're an artist now you could be in movies now you could get a sprite deal now mm-hmm. you can get a jordan deal stuff like that so it's all just i don't know that's why the the vanity metrics it's very tricky because yeah. like it's it can all be fake that's why even like anytime that i've been put on a playlist like a spotify editorial playlist to this day, I don't know how. I don't know how. I don't know who. I have no connections to anybody. Yeah. I just get an email that says, you have been put on this playlist. Yeah. There's no one I could talk to. I don't know. And that's where like labels come in. Because mm. if I was on a label, that would happen automatically. Automatically. Yeah. And I was offered a, I was offered a single deal for Franco Fol, mm. but I didn't take it because it's like, what? Like, there's no point. And mm. I think a lot of artists... They get and Francophone was not even like a huge song. It has like like two or three hundred thousand streams. But just in general, I think say about a million. It. I was like, God no, no. damn. Think about <laughs> it. It's like what a lot of artists do, especially artists that blow up on TikTok. They'll have the big hit, sign, sign away the big hit, mm. and now like you're just making no more bread. And now you're signed, and the label shelves you because you only had one hit, and you're not actually fire. So now you have nothing. So when like, they, that makes no sense. So when they sign you to the one hit, can you not release other music uh, independently? With if they like it, if if that's a part of your deal, where it's like usually but if you what it structure like that, it could make yeah. sense. Yeah. What it will usually be is like they'll sign your one song okay. with usually an option of either like a tape or like two other singles, and you're probably not allowed to drop music outside of that oh. until you fulfilled that contract oh, yeah. so, so when they sign those exclusivity ones it's kind of messed mm-hmm. up yeah. so i can't remember what artist but it was one artist that had like a big tiktok song and he signed for for the one song and a tape and then after the song blew the song blew during covid 24k his, golden no 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 it was like a random guy and then the the his buzz kind of wore off and they just like shelved him and now he said he can't even get in contact with nobody at the label. Like no wow. one answers his calls, Damn, no one, geez. and he's just shelved and he's kind of stuck in the contract. Oh my so God. this is why I say like, and thank you for sharing that. This is why I say like, regardless of how you feel about this Drake um, lawsuit or whatever you want to call it. Um, petition. Petition. This, this, this Drake petition. It's good the more that we peel back the curtain on labels. Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. all this is going to do. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, so like benefit more independent artists. So like, yeah, take your yeah. Bra- take your head out of the beef for a second and just be glad that somebody is peeling back the curtain exactly. on how major labels move. And it really that's depends it. on just you as an artist or whatever you are, mm-hmm. what your goal is. Cause but if everyone goes independent, if your goal, <laughs> that's the thing. Because if your goal, <laughs> if your goal is to be the biggest artist in the world, you have you to do that with a label. Like yeah, it's you have to play the game. It's impossible to not do that with a label. If your goal is to make money, you can make money independent. Yeah, your numbers might not reflect as much, but you can make money. Like that's yeah. not the issue. So, yeah, man, it's it's crazy, and it's with everything. It's with YouTube, with whatever. You could buy subscribers. You could you could buy everything. Yeah, and honestly, and that's your point. No one wants to be first. Like some people, you know, will watch ourselves and be like, first, cool. But like, no one 
people don't really watch or inclined to watch stuff if it has like a hundred views. Mm-hmm. You know or, what I mean? Or no likes. If even even has, my, my, my brain works like that sometimes That's, that's how brain yeah. psychology yeah. is. Yeah. You can see the same video. If it has 10 likes and if it has a million likes, you're more likely to like it if it has a million. Yeah. Which doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't. But that's literally yeah. how our brains are wired to yeah. work. But yeah. that's why I think, and I think Marlon has talked about it a lot too, where he thinks that like social media should not show any numbers on anything. I like to that. where it's like if you like this, you like it because you like it. Yeah. You're not liking it because it has a million likes or a million comments. Well, I mean, it's funny Instagram though when platforms more. offer that. It's like a mental health option. It's yeah. more what YouTube did because when they removed the dislike comments, because people dislike yeah. stuff mm-hmm. for the sake of disliking it, yeah. and when they got rid of it, people stopped, stopped doing just it dis- and actually yeah. disliked it if they didn't like it. Exactly, and then that way it would actually actually just have to be about the art, where like. If a brand reached out to you, they reached out to you because they liked your stuff, not because mm-hmm. you had 10 million followers. Mm-hmm. So, Which are all probably fabricated. Yeah. It's a weird game, man. Mm, I feel like yeah. we're living in a fake AI simulation. Like, is anything even real? <laughs> what, is, what is real? <laughs> it's, tre- <laughs> it's trending towards no. <laughs> like, think worse, like, so, yeah. is anything even, like, these numbers, like, these, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, oh, but X I, amount of... I know with us, like, I just feel like social media numbers aren't, like, real. Like, you just go and post something, and then in less than five minutes, there's 5,000, 5,000 people watch to this, right? and it's entirely, like, I don't but, know. And, but also, it's not real because these sites... On a lower scale? ...control h- how many people see it. Mm-hmm. So it's not even, like... It's not even like, oh, this video did bad, so it's a bad video. Mm-hmm. The algorithm just, just chose to not it. show yeah. it That's to people. Exactly if you, it, it was a bad sometimes. day. If you yeah. look at your <laughs> analytics, or for people that aren't creators, like you can see your analytics. Like on average, if you get a good video, and I'm not talking about something that goes viral, just something that's a good video, maybe two to five percent of your following saw that video in terms of likes. Like that's considered good. Just in general, Mm -hmm. on social media. Mm -hmm. Two to 5% engagement, really, really high engagement is like over 10%. Mm -hmm. So if I have a million followers and people are like, oh, he only gets 10,000 likes. Bro, there's nothing I can, there's nothing I can do yeah, about that. Like that doesn't mean, and and you see it a lot with sponsored videos. And I don't know how, Brands have not caught on to this yet, and it puts more pressure on creators where it's like, I know if I make a sponsored post and I put hashtag ad or hashtag sponsored, it's curtains. people are not seeing the video, so, mm-hmm. no matter how fire the video is. But from a brand perspective, because I also work on the brand side, we have to. Legally, we have to. Exactly. If we're dropping a bag on you for FTC guidelines so we get flagged, we have to put, you have to do hashtag I ad, know. you have to do paid partnership yeah. with. No, you have to. But I'm talking about brands being like, oh, this didn't perform, so we're not oh, working yeah. with you anymore. Oh, right, right, how, right, How do you not know that Instagram or TikTok is going to bury this video because mm-hmm. they want you to boost it. They want you to pay. They want you to, to pay. Boost yes, it. exactly. And then some companies, will, okay, it's cool. We'll pay you ten thousand out of pocket for this reel, and then, and then we're gonna we'll put two K behind it to boost it. So yeah. like you work uh, in marketing. Like mm-hmm. you've obviously had this conversation Damn. with like like cu- clients. I'm assuming about mm-hmm. this kind of stuff. Like, mm-hmm. is there no strategy where you can work around that like problem? Yes and no. It, it really depends. It really depends. It's different for every sector, um, but most brands want to be compliant because yeah. they don't want to get flagged. Yeah. Some brands, depending on the sector, like if it's a like retailer, beauty, they could be more flexible. You know yeah. what I mean? Like we don't have to do that. But if you're strict and you're like government or pharmaceuticals, no, nah, they don't play that. Okay. Yeah. yeah you have to adhere to it. Yeah. yeah. yeah like yeah, this is sponsored by. That's why like all government marketing is this is a message from this is sponsored by. This is an ad. Yeah. Like yeah. they have to. Yeah. It's crazy because, like, yeah, man, I don't know. Because all of these um, companies, they all have marketing budgets. Mm -hmm. And these budgets, like, have to get spent, right? So that's also a tip for um, creators. Like, don't be afraid to kind of highball yourself. Like, let them say no and come down because at the end of the day, they have to spend this money somewhere. And if you You don't spend it, you can take $100. They're just going to give it. To someone else or just stash it. Like that's real. So you it's, know when their fiscal quarters end. Exactly, bro. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I don't know. A lot of this stuff is crazy. I don't even know if I've ever told you guys. I don't even know. How can I talk about this? All right. Um, 
there was there is an entity mm. that controls everything that we do. No one say it out loud, but mm-hmm. uh, you know, like there's an entity that we are that we live by that controls everything we do. You know. Okay. And I was offered a deal with them. Oh, this oh. entity. Yeah, 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 yeah. To do a anti marijuana campaign that they were trying to push. And I didn't do it because I'm like, this is where it gets tricky. I don't really want to get into this world with An entities. You just think about mm, it. An okay. entity that we that we live by. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll okay. maybe ask they after. set <laughs> they set how we can do things, mm-hmm. how much I we got pay you. for I things. Got you. Oh. So, okay, I'm thinking. Yeah. I didn't want to do that because one, An like... anti-marijuana campaign? Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Don't smoke weed. Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay. And I just, yeah. Well, one, I don't agree with that. Like, I don't even smoke, but like, I'm not going to be the guy to yeah, die on that hill. Like, like, that's why I don't you're care. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you don't Yo, smoke. We, we, that's why I've been no. doing CIA, this part. The CIA <laughs> you're trying to reverse psychologize us. I've been this part for three years with you. We never smoked one. This is why. No. Okay. But it's it's funny. You're an agent. But it's... <laughs> But it's funny because that's on a lower scale, but even, I don't know if we talked about it, but like influencers came out after the, like the presidential debates and it was a thing where like, um, parties were paying influencers like big, huge bags for like, say like year long deals to kind of push that side. Damn. So they were like, I don't think that's allowed. That's definitely not allowed. But they were doing it. Just sort of peeling back layers. You they know were doing it. People were getting bags to promote Kamala or promote whoever. Like, wow. And the people that didn't take it were the ones that were talking about it. That, like, I mean, people were getting off. There's a uh, there's a popular blog in Toronto that a lot of people claim is funded by the conservative company. Mm. So, conservative. Sorry, I sorry, can the, see uh, why. the conservative party. Yeah, I can mm. see why because of their anti well, for crazy. a certain group of people. Mm-hmm. Mm. That that could check. That checks Read between out. the lines on most of their cats. Yeah. Mm. Conservative only. Nothing is real. Yeah, it's yeah, all crazy. Bro, everything oh is, my God. We yeah, live, I haven't thought about it though. Ooh. We live in scandal, bro. Yeah, I know we do. Mm-hmm. We live in scandal. Life man. imitates art. Is that what they say? Like, yeah. 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 And no, this, art imitates life. Is that it? I think yeah. both of them are the same. Yeah. I was gonna say, I feel like both of them kind of work because yeah. the shit that we see in art is happening in real life. Mm-hmm. Look at the Simpsons. Very much so. Do you believe this, that stuff? No, hyper normalized. No. It's called. It's, I was gonna say, do you actually believe that this? Like, the do you Simpsons believe that? Predicted shit. It's, a huge it's called hyper normalization. I wrote a paper about it. When, like you, when the government does things in purpose, like to make you ready for it. Mm. Like that's what they said about 9/11, because all the 90s movies had like catastrophic, yeah. like oh, world-ending God. things where buildings blow up, and then it's like 9/11 happens, and it's yeah. like, oh, this is what's supposed to happen. And oh, speaking Jesus. of that, I don't know. I feel like this is something up Mucho's alley. Everyone kind of just skipped over, like, there was something, I don't know if it was in court or something where basically they, like, confirmed that there was aliens and that there are people that, like, not live with aliens, but, like, they, basically, it's, like, a lot of the aliens are, like, in the sea, and it's confirmed. In the sea? Yeah. Yeah, Which sea? The aliens, they're just in, like, aliens aren't. A lot of the aliens aren't coming from space. The aliens are in, in the, the water. water. Yeah, they're in the water. And <laughs> the government has like had knowledge about this and has people that like are talks. not testing, but they're like around aliens. And Yo, they this have is why I don't play it, like, with open water, bro. I've been telling you, niggas, the water is scary. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. I believe it. <laughs> I don't think it's aliens like right. how they say aliens on TV yeah. with like no, antennas no one, and no stuff. We've yeah. only discovered, what is it, like 3% of the world's water mass? What do y'all niggas think is out there, bro? <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? They say discover. the only 20% we know about. 20? Yeah. yeah. yeah this- and the world is like, what, 80% water? <laughs> yeah. Right. We, we can't like, even what are we talking fly, about? Yeah. There is people, there are few. There are tings in them tings, bro. I've been saying this. There is something in the Tings in the, the tings. <laughs> I believe it. There's That's things in there that right our there. brain probably can't even comprehend. And I'm, how are you telling me that the world is 80% water and we can only see 20% <laughs> yeah. of that shit? 71% of the earth is water. 
Yeah. Okay, close. That was and good. How much Off the, the cuff, that was good. How mm. much do people know about? We only know about. We only like, know about twenty percent. I so, think they're even inflating that, bro. <laughs> it's I think it's the UMGs put. I think they inflated that. Nah, guys, I'm telling yeah, you, I don't point. Over it. water is a scary concept yeah. when you think about it, dog. That's why I don't do no yeah. fucking cruise, yo. There's a lot, yeah, and they were <laughs> they were also saying oh, how God. like the government was like paying people that have had. That have been basically injured by like UFO coming out the interact- water. No, like in- oh. there's a class action lawsuit for UFOs. No, like the government was paying off people that were injured by UFO like experiences. Yeah, word. And like it's just this Could whole you shut thing, up? bro. Like there's a lot on this earth we, we don't know. We need to do bro. a conspiracy. It's there's a lot like, we don't see know. The, about. It's like Sentinel. One, one last thing. Yeah. It's like um, did you got you guys know about Sentinel Island? Yeah, yeah. Yes. No, what is that? Oh, Basically, Sentinel concept. Island. It's this island off of is it India? Yeah, uncontacted. It's like people. a un, uncontacted people. Yes. And um, it's this island based off of India, and like you're not allowed to go there. And people have walk, gone there, and like they killed people or whatever. It's basically uncontacted people where it's an island, and it's I think they estimate between fifteen and three hundred people live on this island. Like they have no contact to any of the outside. With like. They don't know about TVs. They don't know about cars. Like, they are a tribe still. And there's, like, drone footage of it. And you can see them, like, they're, like, all painted in black and red. And it's, like, like a really like, tribal. Like, 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 like tropical tribe. Yeah, like, like aboriginal-type like tribal land. I don't know if they even know about the wheel. Yeah, like, they yeah, just don't. it's like Stone it. Age, and, like, civilization ever And, happened. like, someone tried to go spread the word of God there and they killed him and then yep there's like there's only one so picture funny, but like why <laughs> there's so, a 50 so to 200 quick, people real quick, yeah 50 I, to 200 i can't corroborate anything else you said in the past 15 minutes this is all facts what trezor is saying yeah right i would say the the alien stuff is alleged yeah this, but this is true we know this, like, yeah, this, this is, is one fact true. Yeah. This this is true. True. there's like one picture of them interacting with people and they're not allowed like people aren't allowed to go there because they want to spread like um Diseases, diseases and, stuff. and stuff. But what I'm thinking of is That's imagine there's probably like animals that we don't exist know exist that live on that island or yeah. like yeah. There's probably things there that we don't know about as well that we'll never know about. That's alien to us right now. Yeah. Mm. Or things in jungles that we just haven't discovered fully yet. Exactly. And mm-hmm. then someone said, and it got me thinking, what if we on earth are the sentinel island to the rest of the universe mm. and there's God. other oh, and no. we are the uncontacted group and there's a whole other Ooh. group that know we exist and we don't know that anything outside of our world exists but Holy it's a whole shit. like like they have a whole thing going on that we can't even fathom That's like they funny. can't fathom anything so just real quick because we're not smart enough like because we're just inferior no it's not even just smart enough just we've we, just we can't do that. fathom it hold because on, we don't so know it exists yeah. real quick go ahead so, Trey. So, do you think that we are the only living beings in this galaxy just, no 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 okay no, no but so. i don't think we contacted them yet no i don't think that either okay. my, they may have seen us though yeah my sure. whole thing is that like i believe there are other life out there but it will be impossible to find it but I believe that they have found us before. Yeah, we're the Sentinel Island. That's, that's basically what it's We're the Truman Show. Yeah, like they're just watching us. We have no idea. Yes. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're getting, you're getting an existential yeah, crisis right now? Yeah, stuff okay, bad. Okay, okay. Why? It was like the we first time. Panic, 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 panic attacks when I think about this It's like the first time I watched Armageddon and I thought the moon was going to crash into Earth. <laughs> I was scared of that movie Every for so full long. Moon, you're like, it's getting bigger. Because yeah. so I'm gonna, like, we know that Earth is billions of years old. Yeah, there is stuff that probably live on this Earth back then. They're still living today. It's possible. Oh man, it's crazy. Like think, like think about that. Billions of years old this Earth is. Yeah, there is stuff we do not things know that about we have that we that still probably live in the ocean. And if you know how light years work, that's why alien discovery is tricky, right? Yeah, because the closest alien civilization to us would be I don't know thousands of light years away. Mm-hmm. So by the time they get to us, or we get to them, if we go like before light speed, we won't get to them till thousands of years from now. 
Yeah. And so it's it's just tricky. It's just And we keep saying words like thousands and millions and billions, and he's saying, you know, things are billions of light years away. Just to put in perspective, like what we're talking about here, a million seconds is eleven days, and a billion seconds is thirty-one years. So, <laughs> you know, when something's billions of light years away, no, no, he's a thousands of light years. No, I said this, billions, this, said billions this, of years ago. This, yeah. this, so it's oh, like the scale of like of, yeah, what could have right. happened in that this, amount of this time. This is me ballparking. I don't know what the actual thing is, but not like to visit an alien civilization, it's not like going to Mars or going to the moon. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> like, it's what, gonna take lifetimes. Yes. And what I'm a couple, saying, a couple like lifetimes. Billions of years is like there could have been humans. We do not know. I'm just ballparking here. There could have been humans way before we never knew about it, had another lifespan of billions of uh, millions of years that happened, they all went extinct and it just repeats the cycle. We do not know how life was billions of years ago. They already did the Met Gala way before. It's just like we're repeating. Okay, no, no. <laughs> now y'all are just dragging it. All right, uh, we, we, yeah. we've been yeah, too yeah, serious yeah, for too long. Well, 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 let's let's, let's get like to some jokes. Yeah, we should do, a, we should do a pod exclusively about conspiracy theories. Yeah, let's just I, get I, weird. I, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's just get weird. Let's get to some jokes. What kind of jokes do we really have? Okay, you guys said that- After two hours. We're at two hours? Hour 49. Hour 50. <laughs> oh, dear God. Okay, well, apparently Jay Leno falls downhill. Uh, well, I don't that know what that really means. That ain't really funny. That's not funny. Oh, is that not uh, funny? What happened? The they, cons- Jay Leno's got some debts. Yeah. He, oh. he came out. He has like a bruised up face. He I has like a broken wrist and like a broken rib or something. And he claims it's because he fell down a hill. Jay Leno fell down a hill? That's what he says. <laughs> And you got what did you I mean, it's possible. I don't believe it, but show his face. The conspiracy is show his face and now show how, how small the hill was. Oh, I, the hill what? was like I the didn't hill see was, the hill was hill? tiny. They showed the hill. <laughs> they showed the hill. They showed the alleged hill. I don't tiny. know how your face. I looks never like... saw the hill. Hold on. Let me do some research. Are we sure it's maybe not like a oh, medical? Shit. <laughs> Like a medical. was like. You see what? That's why I laughed. Let me see. No, there's no medical. Yeah, like, all right, that. All right, is, man. Yeah. Okay, maybe he Pan has that, like. That, fam. No, maybe he has a condition, like a skin condition. It's the second and, time no. that shit happened. Second time? Yes. Oh, Where shoot. Jay Leno got into an accident. You got to watch them parlays. Yo, yeah. Leno, man, you're not in the Letterman fight anymore. Like, it's you don't 2024. Need to do why are you borrowing money from the mafia? Just like go on prize picks. Oh, they won't God. beat you up. Oh man. Okay. Well. All right. So how how about this? Um, should Kobe have? A, <laughs> a, 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 yeah. <laughs> should Kobe have a league wide jersey retirement? No. No. Because we didn't retire twenty three. Uh, the Heat did, but yeah, you're right. Nobody else did. Yeah. The Heat retired twenty three. Which is weird. Why? Stop glazing. That was yeah. Uh, Pat Riley was on his dick. Yeah. He yeah. never played for the Heat. I know. Next. Crazy but, glazing. But yeah. I understand. Wait, Let me. Mike, sorry. Mike, wait. LeBron, sorry. The Heat retired twenty three for LeBron or for Michael Jordan. For Michael Jordan. What, the, what are we talking? That's why, that's why LeBron couldn't wear twenty three. And that's why he wore six. Yes. Holy shit! I didn't know that. I didn't know, I didn't know that. that happened. I didn't know that Wait, happened before on. LeBron. Oh, I thought no, that was like Buster's after episode. That. Is this? <laughs> I get it. Well, let me play Angels advocate. What? No, sorry. <laughs> Kevin why did you get it? Take. Because why the hell would the Heat retire twenty? No, I mean, Riley he's... was on MJ's dick. But <laughs> I, I mean the Kobe thing, not the. Oh, okay. oh okay, okay. I feel like because of how <laughs> Kobe, <laughs> I think because of how Kobe tragically passed. Oh. The rules might be a little different than Michael Jordan. Fair, but like no one's gonna wear twenty four and eight. We're talking both. Yeah, I I think both is a stretch. Maybe Did he do 24. more with eight or twenty four? Eight, eight. He won eight. three. He uh, Did he go three back to back with eight? He went. Yeah. No finals MVPs. He dropped. Eight. Did he drop eighty one <laughs> with eight or twenty four? Eight. He dropped uh, eighty one with eight. Eight. <laughs> so eight, eight. eight if you're is gonna the retire one that has player. to be like, eight. I don't give a fuck but but because he went 2000, 2001, 2002 on eight. Yeah, but yeah, if but you're talking Mark, player, no if, finals MVP, <laughs> Kyrie. <laughs> but if you're talking, <laughs> wait, he was the second best player on his team on those first three. Shaq. I know Shaq. I'm just <laughs> he was. But if are you wait 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 yeah what are you what's going on here what are you trying what are you debilitating in your head. 
Speak. Or, there might be a round or two where Kobe was better, but yeah, when Shaq wasn't playing. An, no, when, he, when Shaq was injured. Player, Zoe Smith. Um, Western Conference Finals, two thousand one, I believe. Uh, I think I guess the Spurs. Kobe played better than Shaq. Yeah, he played out what? of his mind. It was during a, a moment of Kobe's life where I feel like he had a lot of motivation to play. No, 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 no. That was before. Oh that no, was, that was so. That was fun. before Denver. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, my bad. <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't yeah. laugh about Denver. All right, but um, oh yeah, don't laugh about yeah, that. But <laughs> if you're talking at us in the comments. advertising, <laughs> advertising wise and media, that was because he had to deal with David Robinson and Tim Duncan. So and then when he goes to the finals and he gets no center that yeah. like is able to cover and him, then and then he killed the pace. Yeah, and he yes. shows out for like thirty four and eighteen. Yes. So it's like yeah. yeah anyways, you got, you got it. Yeah, media wise and advertising wise, because the NBA is a business, it would have to be twenty four. When you think of Kobe, you think twenty four before you think eight. You want, eight I'll, I'll give you impactful. one country's name for why. China? China. <laughs> for 24. Yeah. Which is when you say How do you that, say 24 in... Oh, my God. In Chinese? Yeah. Chinese is not a language. Uh, Mandarin. <laughs> but is that true? Because I feel... I've heard that Chinese is a language. It's Mandarin and Cantonese so there are the two languages yeah, spoken in China. 100%. Yes. And that's the contemporary way to look at Chinese it. Chinese is the overall spectrum of what people consider to be Mandarin or Cantonese. Yeah. But there are separate languages that perhaps yeah. they have in China. Standard Chinese is an official language of both the People's Republic of China and the Republic of China, Taiwan. There there's, there's two ways to look at it. You could look at Arr. it because language and dialect is murky. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I played the Google tr like pronunciation of it on the phone. None of y'all can hear it. Okay, don't stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the difference between language and dialect is murky. So for some, Chinese is a language. Mandarin, Cantonese is the dialect. For some, oh okay, for okay, some okay. Mandarin, dialect. But okay, okay, okay. That's so, fair. yeah. Okay. How do you say twenty four in Chinese, Clay? I'm not repeating. Repeat this. it. It's not offensive. It's not offensive if you're trying to say it Play correctly. Play and then try, genuinely try to say it. Yes. If you're trying to say it this correctly. Is, no, 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 no. That's how you do it. Do it. Just I will not, disconnect from the Bluetooth no, and y'all can hear it. just do it. You want to just watch the next level? Okay, just do it. <laughs> Fine. If you won't do it, I'll do it. Yeah, thank you. God. Like, it's not Are offensive you if it? you're genuinely trying to do it. Clyde, say it. Sing to. That's not bad. That's not bad, Sing bro. Sing to. Sing to. Play it to me, see if it's accurate. Say, wait, what? What? All right, well, I think you I'm mishearing things. Right? That is not what you said. That no. that is racist. What? No, <laughs> no, I think I just put that, 24 in Chinese. Say, do it again. Play it again. You see why the Joe Budden clip didn't work? I, I think you two have exactly. two different dialects going on. Yeah, Probably. that says like that this, sounds like Hongshu. Well, this, this is, funny enough, this says. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. Huh? There's a first half of that that I just didn't hear. Yo, that, that's where I eat when it's 3 a.m. You know what? Stop, right, stop, right, stop, right, stop. Right, stop. Right, you know what? Moving on. on. Yeah, I have to push it. <laughs> What's the next topic? Uh, <laughs> what okay, I saw a tweet. <laughs> this is why I wrote down happy birthday tweet. It makes sense now. Mm -hmm. Some, I didn't say I'm a girl. A woman tweeted that if you say happy birthday... To someone that you used to have sex with that you no longer speak to and you're in a relationship, it's cheating. <laughs> what the living fuck are we talking about? Just, All right, let's, know, just sprinkle uh, some fuckery. Let's, 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 okay, let's take the cheating away from it. Do you think it is appropriate to say happy birthday to someone that you've been with before that you... Yeah. And you're in a relationship. I do it all the time. I think well, it's not fine. all the time, but it's if I see fine. a guy that I've... <laughs> Been, I think in, if you're in a relationship, it's, it's kind of sticky. Why? I don't think oh, so. Please give your. So if Why? you're if you're if you knew your man was wishing happy birthday to a girl, his old work, you have no. That's not gonna. Does he does he talk to her regularly? I mean, I if he's able to, the, if he's able to, if he's in the position with her that he's wishing her a happy birthday, he probably no, talks no, to her no, to some extent. No, no, So he's wishing a happy birthday to someone he never talks to ever. Yes, because I do it. That's weird. No, that's weird. I'll How do is it. that? For example, wishing people happy birthdays that you don't really have like no, a rapport no, no, no. with. Sometimes, sometimes I'll 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 be in a communicative mood and I see the story. Yeah, if, if I, I see, see the story, yeah. if, if I, I see, see the story. story I might and just it's say him happy, happy birthday. birthday. I might swipe up. Yo, happy birthday. Yeah. Balloon emoji. Next. The thing Thank is, you. Like the message. That's the thing. The, the thing is, is what comes after <laughs> wait, the happy wait, birthday. Wait, wait. What's the, what's the problem? Why? What? The emoji. 
No, no, it's, it's a funny topic. That's it. Let's Why? Keep it is. <laughs> the thing, it's it's what <laughs> it's what happens after the happy no. birthday. No, it's what's so funny no, about no. the topic? I'm confused. <laughs> no, I like this topic. Keep going. Okay. Why is it so funny? What happened? What's the tea? <laughs> There's no tea. I'm just saying. There's no tea, Zoe. I <laughs> no. no. What's the tea? I'm just saying. I'm just saying though. Like when you say happy birthday, that can just open a conversation. It can. It if definitely you wanted can. to. Yeah. So, okay. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. How you been? What you saying? No, 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 no. That's what, what you that, saying? Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing. So what? Is it red nothing. now? It's delivered? It's, it's, is it red or delivered? What do you mean red or delivered? Is it red or seen? It's seen. It's seen. You just well, say nothing. If well, if, okay. If it's thank you. Hi. Oh, my God. It's been so long. How you been? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not answering. You just, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not answering. You got to just not answer. Yeah, I'm not answering. If I'm in a relationship, I'm not answering. Word. Yeah, especially if you've not hooked up before, I'm not answering. But I don't think, for example, if it was a girl. So if a man wishes that you know is in a relationship, wishes you a happy birthday, you're not even, re like, you're just leaving it on scene. That, he's in a relationship? Yeah. And he you could say thank you. Sorry, he's in a relationship. He wished me happy birthday. Yeah. I say thank you. Oh, I, you said just scene. No, I'm saying oh, on if, the, he, it, if I say how you thank doing? you, yeah. how you been lately, and he leaves me on scene, I would understand. <laughs> he Got has it. a girl. Got it. Yeah. And Got also, it. I would not do that knowing he has a girl. <laughs> I'm leaving that thing. Okay. Me with the yeah. flex emoji. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta hit certain niggas yeah. with, yo, yeah. emoji. So it's all about the emoji you hit him back Yeah, with. it depends. The <laughs> emoji. That's, okay, yeah. Okay. okay this. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right, so let's emoji. Um, <laughs> Let's hey, emoji hey, rate. Hey, hey, okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> do you think the do you think the uh this emoji is too far? No. 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 What, what's that's, this called? That's yet? my favorite. The, that's the, the, that's the, the cross, like the tight knit. Yeah. yeah. That is not in my Do bag. you think we saying that in. to your man saying that this emoji to a girl is too much? What's the, what's the context? And for the listeners, he's doing the locked in Happy emoji. Happy birthday. Cross fingers. Your man says thank you. This. That's cool. Hell yeah. Some people, black heart? Hearts this might be too heart? far. Black heart, that's it. <laughs> black heart, that's Thank it. Thank you, black heart? Cool. I think yeah. hearts are too far. Not any even color. black heart? I think any color hearts are too far. <laughs> I'll, I, I, my go-tos are prayer hands. Yeah. Yeah. Arm, <laughs> arm emoji. The uh, what's the emoji? The this one? Oh, the prayer hands. <laughs> that. That's the neutral emoji. That's uh, neutral. Yo, I yo. think this is very neutral. <laughs> <laughs> my hands are up. Yo, and then you hit me with thank you. My hands are up. <laughs> I be like, yo, I'm out here saying this. My yo. hands are up. This is the most neutral emoji oh, you can do. You don't hit with the 100. Do you mean like this one? Like the like this? 100. Yeah. 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 No, one hundred, you're wild. Why? Because no. no, it's not even that. Like you're disrespecting the your that's partner. That's very aggressive. It's like it's yo, very male. don't treat her like that much of a nigga. Yeah, like. that's very male. The one hundred like, is very yeah, male. Yeah. Like you say she, that to a she's guy. She's still a woman. She's yeah. still a woman. I give that to. No, anyone. that's you're no. separating. Happy birthday, fam. No, nah, no, nah, like, nah, nah, nah. You're wild. You're wild. <laughs> yeah, but you know, hundred and fire emoji. Hell yeah, <laughs> fire emoji's good too. But you know fire what, like good. type of person I don't like, and y'all tell me if any of you guys are like this. I don't like the person that says, and I've seen so many videos and tweets on this. I don't like the person that says, if I tell you happy birthday and you don't respond, I'm deleting, I'm deleting. it or I'm never wishing you happy birthday again. That's so whack to me. It's weird. not Actually, that Actually, you know what? Deep, if bro. that's your mindset, don't wish me happy birthday, period. It's not that deep. Because that means you didn't mean it. You and just wanted a, very, a reaction exactly. from me. It's very selfish. I think that's a very selfish Extremely. way of thinking. I agree. Extremely. Because if you are commenting on my happy birthday post, on my birthday post, and you see that there's 200 other people, you expect me to... Like, you're just expecting me to respond to you. I think that's kind of selfish. Me, personally, I, I don't think so. If you text me, I'll respond 100% because that's way more... Even the texting. With all due respect, I'm strong in the first half. Like, you know, early in your birthday. Early. You got to get me lie. early. Once I sleep, wake up, and my text is blown, some of y'all not getting the thank you. I'm so sorry. You got to get me to early. I to make through it, but I'm also not spending my birthday responding to people, bro. Because I'm with people I love. Like. Thank you. <laughs> Facts. I'm not going to lie. Like, I've had, like, one of my homeboys, he wished me happy, like, more life every single year. There was one year where he didn't do it, and I felt, like, 
I don't know why, but the ways when he did it to that so one the, year. So, like, the people that you were close with and everything like that, they didn't wish you have a birthday and that made you feel away? It was just, like, one of my boys. Like, he's one of my boys. Like, sandbox days. Like I, It was just, like, I don't know why I felt the ways what? on that. What are you trying to say? Nothing. I'm asking him a question. Keep You're going. Yeah. But to oh me. God. Oh, oh, my God. What? <laughs> Clyde's birthday. Oh, shit. Yeah, my bad. See? No, it was great. Let the conversation keep going. No, I'm, a sta- I'm about to say what I'm going to say. I don't wish people happy birthday oh, a lot. Yo, you see how Tristan will leave you for dead? None of us <laughs> wish Clyde a happy birthday. you going to act like also you wish that, me happy birthday before, nigga. Don't play. Before, but I don't really. Because I feel like I feel like I missed your birthday last year, too. We miss it every year. There has <laughs> never been a time where you guys made my birthday. But also, yes, I did. I God. didn't like Trey's wish. Yes, it, I did like No, in this, I don't even like, because I'm not a birthday. Like, like you're I saying, know. I'm not the person that's like, was oh, baby, wish me a happy birthday. Like, was it your 30th? No, 29. No. 29. Oh, 29. But what I also oh, will God. say, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't what? care about birthdays, so yeah, I'm not know, going out there still. promoting it. No, we should know, guys. This is crazy. You, you should, should know. And the week before, I told you it was going to be you my birthday. Did. And you post Tresor's photo when it's his birthday. But that's you. See? You control the accounts. You should be on top of that. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know I apologize I, for you that, You know what I got brother. from oh Zoe on my birthday? We need to talk. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Wait. Wait. Stop. <laughs> no, 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 no. You no. should be on top of that. No, 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 no. I'm just a chill guy. I forget things I'm sometimes. Just a you chill guy. But, just chill guy. Yeah. Stop. But yeah, yeah. what oh, I will say, I, Zoe, I, 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 I give Zoe heat about this. Every no, year. please. Okay, what no, I will what's say, hold on. The 14th, and when was that message? <laughs> that was like oh weeks my ago. God. The 14th. The 14th that was like is ago. crazy. What? 12 Yo, days you ago? told me, and I felt so bad because I wished you happy birthday last year. I know, and I this is this is fun. Like, but I don't also, say like the fact that if you don't, also, like I'm not, yeah. I'm not a birthday things, person. Two things though, because this is kind of your fault as well. Me? Yes. Okay. Because. One, the way I know it's people's birthdays is when they post things. Clyde doesn't post anything. That's mm-hmm. true. So right. I would never know. And two, I think it's proper etiquette where if you are in a group with people, maybe it's a black thing that like I'm just used to with my family. Like my mom, my mom will tell me, oh, it's your cousin's birthday. Yeah, Say happy yeah. birthday my to them. My mom does that too. And okay. remind you. Mm-hmm. You should have been like, yo, yeah. did you guys say happy birthday to Clyde? It's <laughs> yeah. his birthday. He didn't remember yeah. either. It's fine. I didn't remember either because I, oh, I, 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 I forgot too. Okay. I, I've said I from the jump, I'm coalition. not good on birthdays. This is nasty, so. nasty, nasty work, guys. But I apologize yeah. for that. We should know. Yeah, we, not, should def- we should I don't know. When's, when's your it's birthday? It's very serious. My birthday is the day before New Year's Eve. It's the 30th, 30th, right? Yeah. So your birthday's coming up too. Now, I can't post you. Uh, Zoe's is when was the party? July 6th. Oh my, thank you. July? Oh, thank you. Oh, so I know you feel like shit now. <laughs> See, at least I'm neutral. I didn't know hers either. So, oh man. Oh god. June, yeah, June, yeah, June. Wait, yeah. June, I know bitch. <laughs> July, you whore. Oh, close. Wait, close, close. I know but early know July. Uh, I know you don't know mine. <laughs> Yours is December too, though. Nope. <laughs> May. I don't, but I wish it. I, I wish you a happy birthday when it was. Yeah, you did. March. <laughs> yes. Fifth. Tenth. No. Thirteenth. <laughs> no. They we're just uh, naming yeah, numbers. Yeah, yeah. Twenty-nine. <laughs> no. Okay, you know what? Wait, Zoe, why can't you post my birthday? Cause I didn't post Clyde. Oh, okay. No, no, no. You <laughs> post his. So now, uh, all right. No, no, no. I'm gonna we, have to post <laughs> yours. No, no, we we, 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 we clicked up now. Okay. It'll be a bad. It'll be a bad. Yeah, ne- next, year. next year everybody gets it. Okay. okay. No, I I'm think... not gonna post yours. Just no, like, it's later like part of the show now. <laughs> no, this is terrible. It is part of the show now. I think oh, it God. is. I think it's responsibility as adults to signify to other. Is that a word? Signify. Sure. Yeah. Sure. sure. <laughs> I think it's the responsibility of adults to signify other adults when it's their birthday. Because you know, you get caught up in yeah. your life, your tunnel vision. You might forget. This is the That's only. That's why the birthday post is the courtesy. A hundred percent. And this yeah. is the only reason that marketplace and events <laughs> is the only reason I miss Facebook. Marketplace. Oh, yeah. 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 Snapchat tells you too, but if you don't go on Snap yeah, or like they're like, not on Snap, everybody used to be on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Even right if you didn't the post, wall. they remind you. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's this person's birthday. Damn. On Facebook, Facebook yeah. 
<laughs> but yo, 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 don't give Clyde too much credit, eh? Because if we didn't post it, he wouldn't know our birthdays either. Like, I mean, he yeah, just yeah, said yeah. my yeah. birthday. If you guys didn't make the biggest deal out of it. Yeah. 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 And that's fine. Up, which is like who you are. Like, I'm not a birthday person. Something. Some people. Yeah. 26. It's a 20. Late don't 20. feel like now I feel it. Like, don't feel Guess like which one. Nah, 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 nah. It's not a big deal. I've worked up I'm stuck three between years. two. None of you wish me happy birthday. It's fine. I did. You You're, did. What is it? March what? March 18th. 18th. What oh. is mine? October 20 what? 9th. No, it's 27. 28th. 8th. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Yeah. I was right, right? No, it's 28th. Yeah. yeah. See? And you were close. December 30th. But, but yeah. November 17th. Well, yeah. 14th. <laughs> <laughs> But oh, I am perfect. <laughs> I am not a person that like for everyone that knows me, PSA, I will never get upset if you don't wish me happy birthday. I will. I will never I get upset will. if you don't I'll wish me happy birthday. I'll be pissed. I won't I won't get upset, but we might do five minutes on the pod about it. Oh <laughs> my god, I'm so yeah. sorry. All right, we're gonna do one more topic. I yeah. mean, we have a little bit of time. Yeah. Let me oh, I had a quick question. Um oh, why do yeah. Canadian shows look like that? Okay, yeah. Totally and uh, someone made a TikTok and they said, I can always tell when a TV show is Canadian. Yes, the lighting too. is always off and the overall production quality has a Canadian look to it. I can't yeah. really explain it, but we all know what I mean. And that is true. 100%. You can tell when a sh- it's just, it's like the cameras they use, yep. how they film it. Like it just looks like the shows on CBC don't look like shows on HBO. That's true. Okay, but the HBO but budget. Okay, H, think about it. HBO budget. I, yeah, let's not compare is, to HBO. Yeah, you can't. But even growing up, BET CBC shows don't look like BET shows. But okay, BET shows okay. might look worse now. Have you seen the Tyler Perry ghetto ass shows? But Tyler Perry is self funding his own stuff. That's is not he a just, billionaire? Yes. Exactly. Yes. So, so let's, let's compare be, this to us growing up, right? Mm. To me. Life with Derek looked way looked worse different. than Wizards of Waverly Place. Yeah, then yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean. It just did. Yeah, but why? <laughs> this, this, is what, this is what I'm trying to get to. Why? I think it's the the budget. The budget cost. Canadian TV is ass. If we're being honest, obviously Disney. We didn't have Disney in Canada. Our Disney was Family, Family Channel. Channel. So. The budget for Disney versus the budget for Family Channel were extremely different. But mm-hmm. is it camera quality? It could be. Okay, okay let me ask you this. Do you think Degrassi looked as good as American shows? Because Americans thought that was American. Which the which Degrassi? which one? The, the old the, Degrassi? The, 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 Degrassi? The, the next generation, the one with the uh, with uh, Jimmy. The one with Drake? The we'll share Jimmy. Degrassi? I'm sure, yeah. Uh not really, to be honest. I feel like Degrassi had a Canadian hue to it. You think so? A little, a little bit. A little, a little bit. bit. So if you could still tell that Degrassi, the next generation, the one that we grew up on, if you could still tell that that looked Canadian, then it might not be production because they had the budget. Mm. So what do you think? Maybe it it's a filter they just put on. Like, a, like literally a Canadian hue. <laughs> okay. There's like it's three, four, three, It's like how Mexicans five. are just yellow. There's like a whole <laughs> bunch of paragraphs I'm reading on Reddit right now about like the codec and video formatting. And there, there's a lot. With really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it might be deeper than just budget. It's how it's edited or exported in post. Stuff. It's because I just like I just I don't get it. Because even what I was thinking is like. I don't understand why, okay, the budgets might be lower, but I feel like it's not leaps and bounds lower to Um, where, like, if I'm making Life with Derek, I want the exact cameras that Hannah Montana has. Mm -hmm. Like, and I feel like there's... You you have the budget for that. You should be able to You might just not have the budget for locations. Yeah. But for the camera, you should have the But you should be able to know exactly what equipment those people are using and just yeah. get the same equipment. Yeah. Why can't we just get the same equipment? So would you make the argument that maybe it's on purpose to make mm. it look different so it, you can tell it's a Canadian show versus maybe. an American show? If they're doing it like that, I don't think it it's working for them. <laughs> like, I don't think it's a good difference. Right. Because it looks worse. It doesn't just look different. It looks worse. There right. was a long, long, long period of time where only in America they shot 30 FPS. And we were shooting in what? 29. 29? 
But you shouldn't be but able to tell the difference. difference in like yeah, that would that's be what they're describing is like, the, like for years and years it was like that. Just yeah, but that's something's like frames, slightly per, off frames per second. That doesn't mean I did anything but the color. No, well, 20, 24 verse thirty, you could a hundred percent tell. Yeah. So maybe twenty nine something feels slightly off. Maybe, but I guess we're comparing like what. There's like a crane outside that crane that's very yeah, distracting. Like an alien. I don't like it. <laughs> we're talking about aliens and I looked out there and yeah, I kept we were both like, <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> they're doing construction and they're oh, like, they got a big spotlight that's like big, shining giant, in the air. Like, yeah. crane. Thing they're pounding it's into the ground. It's a crane, yeah. yeah. Um, in this, on Reddit, they're kind of saying the same thing. They're like, yeah, well, we know that it was 30 for a long time and it was 29 over here. We don't really understand why that makes such a big difference, but that is one of the things. Like, yeah, they're kind of... Do you guys remember well, that kink in my hair? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> my um, mom used to love yeah. that show. <laughs> Shit's Creek. Love it. My mom used Shit's to love Creek that was show. good though. And it's not Heartland. Canadian. No, no, no. Shit's Creek, Shit's Creek is too new. The kick in my hair was like, we're growing Shit's up Creek's with it. also Canadian? Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, a yeah, lot of those shows really? like, mm -hmm. My Babysitter's a Vampire. Yo. Wow. That show looked very Canadian. Kim's oh. Convenience. Oh, a Kim's yeah, Convenience. But Kim's we're getting convenient. a little too new. Let's get That's a little. That's too new. Yeah, if we keep it back. Corner old, Gas? Corn <laughs> corner Gas. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen an episode of that and enjoyed it? No. no. Murdoch <laughs> Mysteries. Yeah, there you yep. go. Yeah. Like okay. all of those okay. shows. Cyber, Cyber Six. I don't know if you watched that. Anime. Oh my Cyber God. Six. My sister used to love so that show. Angela Anaconda, I'm pretty sure. Oh, not was. too much on Angela Fuck Anaconda. That show. I'm not hating Fuck that show. <laughs> Fuck that show. You guys you like Angela like like Anaconda? Yes. What's my name is Angela. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? <laughs> I did it. Welcome to my very own show. You like that I'll shit? I'll introduce my friends to you. Dustin. Okay, okay. Oh no, it's Ninny Poo. <laughs> Yo, we do, we do my name is Yo, 16. Y'all y'all watch 16. 16 was a bang. But these are Rebo cartoons. These aren't actual oh. shows. Yeah, these are, we're getting a little off topic, but at the same time, let me I'll, just, I'll name one more cartoon. Okay. Robot. Or sorry, no, was it what was it? No. Uh, reboot. Yeah. Reboot. I don't Trash, know. Trash, bro. I don't know that. I, I didn't watch that. Like that was something we watched when we were younger because it was on at 9 We were like four years old. And you had to go to bed at 10, so it's the last thing you get to watch. Uh, like, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't that's how yeah, Trey, Trey and maybe Zoe are too young for reboot. Y'all don't know I, about reboot? That's how I feel no, about no, Angela no, Anaconda. No, that's you're what not you, too young for Angela no, Anaconda. No, but I'm saying that's what you watch when you're like at home sick in the middle of the day. Like I love Angela Anaconda was not prime time. that Bob? Come on, Tra Trailer Park <laughs> the Boys. Bobbins and Feckles. Yeah, Trailer Park Boys. Oh, was Trailer solid Park too. Boys. Mr. D. That's the one Canadian export that even Americans like. Yeah, yeah. yeah Americans facts, love facts. Trailer Park Boys. Do you guys Boys. remember the latest buzz? That sounds yes. very familiar. Yeah. Was that about the newspaper? Yeah. Yes. It was all the kids that worked at the newspaper. Yeah. And what's her name was in it? Vanessa Morgan. And I had such a big crush on her. The little light skin Life girl. Life with Derek from was elite. My, my baby says Life with vampire. Derek was very elite. She, yeah, her name sounds familiar. Besides Vanessa Casey Morgan. and Derek fucking on breaks. That's crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. But They're supposed to be brother and naturally sister. Naturally Sadie. Yeah. Jacob Tutu. I they call me Tutu. Too. Totally Spies. <laughs> totally Spies totally was Totally Spies was Canadian? Yeah. yeah That's what Google's saying. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, that was a good one. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, these are bangers. What were your What were you guys' top three cartoons growing up? Like, specifically Teletoon. Can, just, can I count Dragon Ball Z or no? I was saying about to say, are we no, allowed to say Dragon Ball Z? No, no, no. Wait, Teletoon? only Teletoon? Can we say any anime? Like, Inuasha? Can I say that? I'm no. saying it for simplicity just, so we can get through it quickly. So, so no Japanese shit. No. Okay. I don't even remember what was on Teletoon. Family Guy. No, that wasn't yeah. Teletoon. Teletoon. At 9 o'clock it was on. Teletoon. Yeah, Family Guy was on Teletoon. Oh, you mean Teletoon at night? Yeah. At night. Oh, okay. What so, like, do you want Teletoon? some, like, just PG shit? Just PG shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I already have like. Cause I watch Futurama too. Yeah, same. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't watch no robot bullshit. Chicken. Robot Chicken. Oh, Proud Family. Oh, Robot Pro Chicken was so, fire. So Proud no, Family. No, that was Disney. Oh, that, so, yeah, but for Disney's us, fire. it was Teletoon. Keep up, cause we don't have Disney. It was on, no, family, it was on family Channel. Family Channel though. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Who Te cares? Don't Pro do Teletoon. Yeah, okay, no, do, yeah. yeah. Do, so, so, do YTV. So, so top three cartoons. Yes. Okay, so I gotta include Proud Family. Yeah. Recess. Oh, Recess Ooh. was a and Recess, Recess. And, and, and The Weekenders? That's a good one. Oh, the I Weekenders. I love The Weekenders. Recess and The Weekenders. I need to watch them like that. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I'll give I it, really yeah. liked The Weekenders. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to those three. Carver. That was my guy. You look yeah. like him a little bit. That's Because I'm black. <laughs> what, was, no, that, was that the you detective? Look, no, Carver no, was Carver the black was guy. Carver was the black guy from... With the pineapple dreads. Oh, from yeah. The Weekenders. From The Weekenders. What's, what's the detective? 
uh, the detective, oh, the team detective. Was it the guy with the glasses? Yeah. Uh, I forget. Uh, that, the one in the treehouse? No, you're nah, you're nah, thinking nah, nah. of uh, Kiss Next Door. Yeah, Kiss Next Door, yeah. which is which was which was cool. Uh, it was oh, right. you're talking about Fillmore. Yeah. yeah. Wait, oh, is, yeah. Yeah. is that, that the meme of solitude. the dry chicken? Yes. yes. Yeah. And the chicken was dry. And wasn't that Orlando Brown? Yes. Was it? It was. The voice was Orlando Brown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do Did you see Orlando, yeah, Brown, Orlando Brown and Holmes. Ray J I and Funny Marco? No. no I that was the that most one. chaotic interview. <laughs> Orlando Brown was gagging on the mic. Like it was Pause. It, literally. There is a screenshot. Yeah, thank you. There is a screenshot. <laughs> For once it's not you. <laughs> there is a screenshot of Ray J oh, sitting in a chair like this. <laughs> Funny Marco sitting in a chair like that, and Orlando Brown standing up with his mouth over the boom mic. Oh my god! Ew. Ew. I, I, I rather, seen, I seen it. I rather talk about top three cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is your top three cartoon? I might echo the same sentiment. I might go Proud Family, Recess. Unless I'm forgetting something, and, and I would go Weekenders. What were the ones you guys didn't like? Rugrats. Not really. Are we talking Canadian? It was shows? cool. No, 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 no. no. Oh. In general. Rugrats yeah, I didn't like cool. All Grown Up either. All Grown Up was solid. Oh, no. Really? Rugrats All Grown Up was good. Rugrats was dope. It had, they had Randall, right? No, that's, that's recess. recess. <laughs> Rugrats was Tommy and Angelica. Why are you bringing up Rugrats? Why not? That's when you're like five. Oh, we're talking about adult cartoons or like no, no, teenage, no. like, but like, gro- like pre-teen. But like growing up, growing up, I feel like you only have like one or two years where you're watching the Rugrats. Yeah, you're not really watching. Like the Rugrats, you're not. Like I watched all grown up. Okay, I really I liked, older, but I really they were like preteens. I really liked sixteen. Yeah. I loved sixteen. I, I did like totally spy. You know what I liked a lot? Brace face. Oh, I watched that. <laughs> brace face. We gonna make Americans Google today? Yeah, brace face. Did you guys brace watch brace Marvin's mystery? Good. No, I didn't oh, like. I it. remember that bullshit. I didn't like it. Yeah, that was some bullshit. You though. know what was elite cartoon too? King of the Hill. No, yeah. it wasn't. King of the Hill. Are you, you guys with crazy? King of the Hill? No, okay, I see the nah. argument, but it's just a bland no, show. No, it's not I hate bland, when people bro. do that. It's like, oh, you don't understand the humor. I get you, it. It's not H- funny. Hank Hill, that was who a sells white boy propane show. and propane accessories. Great character. That oh wasn't a, that is God. such a good show. Great, That's great a white character. boy show. I'm a white boy. That was a white boy show. I, <laughs> then I'm a white boy to the core because I, I, bro, I had every season on DVD of wow. King of the Hill. Wow. Okay, let's. My mom and I used to watch that for days. Let's advance the conversation. Okay. Mm. What was your favorite niche Disney Channel or Family Channel movie? Movie, because I have mine. That I know we mine. could kind of we I could kind of get the ball rolling. I can't rolling. Even remember mine that well, but I know what, what mine is. What do you mean is. by niche? The niche. It's not the known one. It's not the it's Wizards of Waverly yeah. Place oh, movie. It's not ooh. even Steven's Yo. movie. Ooh. I have two. Shout out, shout you out. You want me to start? Yeah, okay, yeah, go. Yeah, you so you can get the ball rolling. My two are. Wendy Wu, Homecoming Warrior, <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and Minutemen. Oh, God, I'm unique. I thought you were going to say the one I was going to say. Oh, I don't those even are, know those now. Mine, mine is straight up the Goofy movie, bro. Uh, Tevin Campbell and all his songs and shit. Like, I, I, I love the Goofy movie. Is it was that coming hard. of age. Is That's that, hard. It was black coated a little bit. What it about was. Twitches? Twitches counts. Okay, because I love Twitches. Twitches talk- was so good. Mm, I'm talking about a niche Disney movie. Yeah. Shout out that like we're talking about like straight to TV or like <laughs> yeah cinema straight to TV yeah I like Damn, Twitches I don't know Twitches. Cheetah Girls is kind of too big no oh, Cheetah, Cheetah Girls, Girls is too big okay. there's a demographic of people listening that may have no idea what like TV show move like that's I'm dead. I feel like people it's don't know new. about that yeah like that's you know cap to me I didn't like none of that shit I didn't really? none of those They're TV not? show yeah, movies me neither like as like as soon as I was like. Seven eight. I was just watching like grown shit. Yeah, really? low key same. Mm. You didn't like Halloween Town three, Halloween Town oh, high. I didn't watch none of that. For example, I don't even know what that shit is. But for example, <laughs> for example, I did not like High School Musical at all. I thought that was from, oh, okay. Come on, I thought that was for. I've lanes. never seen one. I was like, I, what? To this day, to this day, yeah, I never did the dance. I, all I know is is that it, I was in school and yeah. there was everybody. Oh, you, Corbin, Corbin, I, I uh, Corbin. Right. That's more I'm racism. Racist. Yeah. And yeah. then oh I see the video and it's yeah. the one black dude and they're all stick to the status quo and yeah. they're pointing at a basketball. <laughs> and I'm like, games no, you know. this is crazy. Why is that clip? Just because of Twitter. Just because of Twitter. 
Corbin in Blue. elementary school, they they called me Corbin Blue. And Did, what, was watched. your hair longer? No, that was <laughs> actually my hair was longer. Grade six and five, it was. School. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's crazy, okay. bro. Yeah. How, what do you really think about High School Musical, though? <laughs> Watching these movies back as an adult, like the plot makes no sense because Troy could have <laughs> went to school, did drama, and still played basketball, and you no didn't one have to choose. Than I. You didn't have to choose. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was. I think I was 11 when the first one dropped. I'm like, yo, this is for the girls. Like, I don't. Right. I don't understand why anybody likes nah, this. Nah, we were shit. younger than 50 that. Cent meme. Were we younger than you that? We were younger than that. Those <laughs> bitches. I'm, I'm a 94. It dropped in 06, I think. Nah, it was before that. It was before. No, it was, it was not before. High school musical. 06. Bet. When was it? I think it was. It was no. It was four. No, Tresor. We nah. were what? High eight? School Musical High School one? Musical. No, Tresor. Came, oh, six, high School right? Musical came out in uh, two thousand six. Yeah, yeah. two thousand yeah. five. Sorry, five. Five. Okay, so, right in between. Sorry, I concuss. I, I know for <laughs> a okay. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, it's not two thousand and four because that means two thousand and four we would have still been in elementary school. I think I was. Yeah, just, no, yeah. I we were in middle school. I was still in elementary. No, school. we were in middle school when High School Musical came out. Yeah. Uh, no, or middle wait, school, what? right going, no, right going into middle school. That's in we stop, say, stop saying we, dog. You're, you're the YG, yo. Disney, <laughs> Disney executives <laughs> want, also wanted to replicate the success from musical television films from the Cheetah Girls. That's so Raven, even Stevens, and... Cheetah Girls was so dumb, bro. Those That, that, that was the motivation for no, those No, like, movies, dumb though. good. I was like, oh, what? Really? Really? Cheetah, Cheetah Girls, Girls was is what insane. I'm thinking about. But that's... Okay. Did you ever watch it that? It came out I didn't like Janice. Janice. I don't want to be like Cinderella in the dark really? cold, just I never watched Camp Rock. Wait. The Jack Black Cat shit? Rock with Demi Lovato's on crack the whole time? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what it's like. Did you even take that for like, bro, we were too young to catch... That was a camera. Oh, to yeah. dream about LA. I that's Demi Lovato. I heard the songs like you know how Fam Family Channel had like five minute commercials. I used to hear those songs. Art Attack. Mm -hmm. um, All right. Anyways, the, we've been beating this too yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. What's are we done or what's next? Do we have any questions? Uh, oh, we had one, but I feel like we all have a very simple consensus answer but i'll read it just for the sake of keeping up with dear relentless mm -hmm. uh let me find it okay here we go do you have your yeah, sound you. effect <laughs> dear relentless diaries i've been subscribed for a couple of years but more active now due to school love your videos also i swear when i was younger correct if i'm wrong i saw tresor dancing at the downtown brampton ymca but if it yeah. wasn't him i'll the take YMCA. it <laughs> Might have been a lookalike. That My wasn't question. me. <laughs> I've never danced at the downtown. Wait. Yeah, you might. <laughs> Sounds like some Tresor <laughs> behavior. The YMCA. There's probably an event. The downtown. Maybe. YMCA. I need a year. They didn't I've been a year. there one time, and <laughs> I did dance. So it's probably, so then you. It's probably you. But. Okay. No, but it was a close, like we were in a dance studio. It okay. was closed. Anyways, <laughs> Might have been my question that my friends have debated about is very state, is every state has an anthem, which I talked about. Yeah. What is Toronto's anthem? I mm. said it has to be for us older 2000s, either Come Outside, K Money, mm. TBH, Pressa, Grizzle mm. de Blanco, Pengs, Tutu, but they are instant that it would have to be a Drake song. Due to the Raptors DJ saying it has started from the bottom and how the crowd goes crazy every time it's played. I mentioned how it's because Americans buy a lot of those Raptors tickets and all they know is Drake, PND, and The Weeknd. What do mm. y'all think? Love you guys again. Mm. It's definitely not the, started from the, the bottom. The Toronto anthem is. Uh, Bad bitches going straight. Yeah. Dope boys going to clap to this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lyrics. Dope boys going to clap to this. Why? I say, hey, yo. <laughs> No, dope boys don't trap to this. Keep an eye and don't lack to this. Somebody, Somebody might get clapped. Ba, ba, ba. They know the real. <laughs> Free the dog. <laughs> the dog. Well, they bring it back after the yeah, bop, bop, bop. Yeah, yeah, rewind, rewind. Yeah, they bring it back. Yo, dope boys go clap. <laughs> I didn't say dope boys. I just said, I just said clap to this. <laughs> don't don't play. Play. You're in the club. <laughs> You're just in the corner. <laughs> Yeah, what kind of dope? That's Saucy Santana? Dope boy, dope. That was good, though. That was good. <laughs> like 007. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was that was the sound. It wasn't gunshots. It wasn't that. It was that. <laughs> Somebody might get slapped. Up. <laughs> that that was the sound. I see the vision though. I see the vision. But um. <laughs> All right now. All right now. All right, all right, all Um, you know, Griselda yes, Blanco. I agree. Yeah. It would be Griselda Blanco. I think Ooh. Four Corners was just giving a very PC answer with the Drake. And yeah. I don't think Yo, anyone would say. You got some jokes. Even <laughs> you're a funny guy. Even yeah. if, oh my god, when's even, my birthday? November fourteenth. <laughs> mm, even if it was November. gonna be a Drake song, it wouldn't be started from the bottom. Like, Definitely what would not. It, be? it wouldn't be God's plan. <laughs> it wouldn't be God's plan either. <laughs> God's plan. I mean, it'd be City is mine if it is a Drake song. No, no. it's too niche. Wait, it's too more, it? it has to be more widely known. Oh, yeah. what is a Drake Maybe song know yourself. Maybe yeah, yeah. That's probably I would. I would probably co-sign yeah, know probably yourself. Probably know it would have to be off of if you're reading this. It's too late because that is his say, most yeah. Toronto sounding album. Fact, people Toronto people sounding. say views too. Is his most Toronto sounding album? But that was like a no. theme. Thematically, it was no, the if most you Toronto. The production on If You're Reading This Is Too Late, it's all Toronto. Yeah. It's dark. Oh, yeah, you have okay. that bait. Like, it's very Toronto sounding. So then which true. song would you choose off of that then? Know yourself. Probably know yourself. It would probably be know yourself. I was running through this. That's not my favorite wolves. song on that. One, it's not. But yeah, you're talking it's about not anthem, my favorite either. anthem. It would probably. It would be have to be yourself. that. Yeah. It's not my favorite song on the album either. But it would yeah. have to be that. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, Griselda Blanco, and it's one of. And I think it is the the anthem because, like we've said before, like people usually don't. People, outsiders don't really get the anthem of cities. Yeah, exactly. And I think that would probably us. be ours. The same we were talking about London, the sneak bowl, yeah. touch a button. Oh, you know uh, what? I was I was talking, and I hope he, he doesn't mind. I'm, I'm I'm name dropping him right now, but I was talking to uh, Smiley's manager. I won't say who, who what his name is, but he was like, Griselda Blanco is not even like a Toronto accent heavy song. Like, it's a song that's a traditionally hip-hop banger. Mm. Mm -hmm. Why did that not cross over? It Marketing? actually makes no sense. Marketing, it, probably. It did. I, that's what I mentioned. I went to one party, yeah, and but because said. I knew the DJ and yeah. I was from Toronto, he yeah. played it. He's like, oh, Toronto's in the building, and he played the song. But I feel like he just knew it. I think um, it's just marketing. But I think, yeah, the marketing. It? Because it is, like, you're right. And it doesn't have a... It doesn't... Maybe it when does. the second verse comes on, but... Like for the first half, and I think the second verse is pangs. I don't. But it's mm. a little like yeah. You can hear it if you know it. Yeah. But if you don't know it, you might be able to. That song like, is so hard. But like literally for the first two minutes, it's just a banger that could have came from New York. Yeah. Like from a unknowing ear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you might be right. It might just be marketing. It was marketing for sure. But yeah. how did like the dance floor feel when they heard that song? Like I don't really remember to be honest. Remember? I remember hearing it in Cancun. Oh, interesting. I heard it in Cancun in 2018. Mm. Mm. That was definitely a request. I didn't, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't it, Can you play? 100% because you know how Toronto people travel, mm. but I didn't ask for it to be played. Yeah. Mm. Or it was a request before, and then they added it to the playlist. Oh, you like this song, my friend? Yeah. Okay. You know? But I heard it. <laughs> yeah, you like this song, my friend? But I heard it, and. Maybe I was just like lit, but I just felt like the whole crowd was vibing. You me. were lit. I, you were lit. I just, I'm telling you, you were uh, lit. Oh my god! Because Americans, they're not. They're not feeling it right away. Americans are not. I don't think a lot of Americans are. Like their ears aren't open to new sounds god. right off the bat. But I don't think that's a new sound. I think that's like a song that could have dropped from anywhere on the East Coast. And with the right marketing push, it would have went crazy. It could have. Have you ever seen that meme that or that video that Tresor has, like when they're like giving game to the guy and then they take their oh, that's what Americans do when they hear a British accent rap. This is true. You think so? Yeah, yeah, they do. They hate the accent. This is true. Really? But like, yeah. They can't like comprehend. It could be the dopest thing. That's ever. why. They can't. They can't. That's why what Central C is doing is like so big, unprecedented. Because mm. he's the big, like he's the first one that's crossed. Okay, you know a lot of Americans don't know who Dave is. And that blows yeah. my mind. It, it, okay, so I'm like, my point. Yeah. What? And so I've 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 said this for years now. Like mm -hmm. you could you could search on my Twitter. I've said this for like two, three years now. This guy said find the receipts. You can. I said Central C is going to be, and then I stamped it at when it happened, the biggest UK rapper of all time. 
I can see it. I've said this since 2022. I don't know if he's before the biggest the of song. all time. Who's numbers, bigger? Numbers, numbers before wise. Before the Doja song. Numbers we wise. Numbers and, now? Numbers wise and fame <laughs> wise. <laughs> Who's bigger? Yeah. No one's bigger. The closest would be Stormzy and Skepta. I was going to say Stormzy or and Dave. Maybe. But they're not. Yeah. And, or who? and Dave. But Central C is bigger. I still think bigger. Central C is bigger. In America, I think Central C is bigger than Dave. He's bigger than all of them. Central C is bigger than Skepta and Stormzy in America. And I'm sure. talking about the world. Yeah, for the world. Oh, the world? Central C. Yeah, you're right. Central C might be the biggest. Yeah. I feel Shit. vindicated right now. Yeah. <laughs> but also, like, Central C, like, he has all the, the tools for it to work. Why? Because he's white? He's, I was going to say he's white. He's not, like, black, dark skin. Or he's, like, Chinese or something? I don't know what he's. He no, not even just that. I'll say he's racially ambiguous. Okay, yeah, yeah. That helps. Mm -hmm. Girls like him. Guys don't mind Girls him. Girls don't like Dave? I, not the way that girls like I don't Central think the C. Way that they like Central C. <laughs> no, if I'm being honest, more yeah. girls will foam over Central C. Girls don't like Skepta. Oh, Skepta's girls a like Skepta, beast. but Skepta is that. Beast. But Skepta's black, dark skin, and okay. Skepta doesn't really play the industry games True. as much. Like Skepta mm. doesn't go for. I did. I saw the face. The Lord. Mm. And that was one time, and I don't even think that was like a industry. And that was the best song on the tape. Facts. Like Skepta. That nigga was not dancing with Playboy Cardi. Bro. My stomach hurt. <laughs> like he wasn't. <laughs> Bro, Central C is <laughs> taking. Sound again. <laughs> My stomach hurt. <laughs> Ew. Like he was doing that. Like he was in there. He's just in the video. But he plays those so industry the Playboy games. Playboy Cardi Bro. On <laughs> Central C is taking viral TikTok sounds and sampling them on his music. So that's talent then. That's like knowing how to market. No, but that's talent, playing it's marketing, the game. it's campaigning, it's playing the game. That's, yeah. a, that's playing okay. the game. He's playing Fair. into the hand of the masses. Fair, but it's not something he's born with. Like it's something that he his just His team did. probably. Yeah, you have to learn. Of yeah. course, it's, it could be his. No, any, it could any, be. Any person could have that team. So what? what it could be his idea, but I'm just saying that. I'm like, with you with the racially Skepta's ambiguous not, shit Skepta's not doing that. Okay. Mm. All right. And it's like, yeah, just the crossover and the appeal. It It works for him. Yeah. So hey, <sighs> shout, shout, shout like out to I've Sesh. never seen black women try to fight to make someone black like they did with Central C. Bro. That's yeah. how you know you have a star. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna look at nobody. I'm not gonna point no fingers. The, the, only, the, the finger. only time they gave up on him is when he hit him with the bad two knots. Then yeah. Like, then yeah like, all right. Yeah, you got too you far. Got man. <laughs> you got too far. <laughs> yeah. Is that when you gave up on him? I give one him before that. They were like, no, he's part Guyanese, so Dave come on, man. Uh, come on, hang it up. China yeah, he's man. not black at all. If y'all, if, yeah. What? If y'all what? Say I don't, don't want to talk about people's kids. <laughs> if y'all if y'all say that man's kid isn't black, you can't say Central C Oh, I see black. what you mean. I see what you mean. That's fair. That's very fair. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Who's kid? Uh. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Anyways. We can, uh, we can tie wrap. this episode up with a bow and send it off. Let's light this candle. Yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for listening to episode You get the reference shout out to you. If not, we'll see you next week. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you next week for episode 46. <laughs>